How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Wildflowers episode, continuing our story here with Wildflowers. I think we're getting close to winter uh, coming to an end, I, I, I think. I don't know. Uh, and spring upon us very shortly. Welcome back. It's another episode of Wildflowers. I think we're getting close to the end of the story here. I'm so excited to see where this game takes us. Let's go ahead and continue, shall we? We shall. Now, it's been a couple of days since I last played this game, so please bear with me as I regained everything here, regained my momentum. Uh, make a silencing potion to help out Wesley. Right, we were helping out help because he was howling a lot, and the, and the people were like, why and where is that coming from from your farm? Why are we hearing howling? Uh, so thank you, Wesley. Uh, to not spring on you is the next thing we need to do, which is the dragon's blood vial. Which, to get the uh, dragon's blood, we need to have the metal workshop table so that we can go and make a um a tap for the tree right that's what we need to do oh and my love is here are you ready for the neighborhood <laughs> meeting the what now Otto made the mandatory didn't you hear he's very authoritative i've never known a mayor like him in india or england oh i didn't realize they were mandatory now i did not know they were mandatory either so that's irritating sure I guess I'll drop everything for another one of Otto's meetings. <clears throat> Greetings, all, and thank you for making my neighborhood meetings a part of your routine. No. We all know that our community is besieged by forces that want to harm us. <laughs> like you. And capitalism. Has anyone noticed more sources of harm? I have. Parker. Oh, God. Give it doing up there in her observatory. No one knows. Uh, meteorology. I thought that was abundantly clear. Oh, no. Don't back down. Don't talk to my wife like that, my future wife. Don't back down, Giver. You got this. Then why do you spend so much time walking around at night? I've seen you in the woods, going into the old mine, standing by the lighthouse ruins. Weather doesn't sit down. The sun goes down, Parker. Parker there you go. Has a point, no, he does not. This Why is the third time. Otto, Parker, please, this is too much. For goodness sake, Giva might be higher up on the mountain of consciousness than I am. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> but Messenger Cameron. I appreciate your input, Messenger. However, every claim deserves an investigation. We will return here in a week to hear the case against Giva Joshi. <laughs> I'm a scientist, not a witch. Is this the 1600s? You're all facts. mad here. The meeting's also facts. over. And um, thank you all for attending. I can't believe this. I came here to do research, not to be investigated by some some power-hungry git. What's going to happen to me? You'll be fine, Giva. Otto can't do this. We'll find a way to stop the whole thing. I hope so. We all had sense enough not to convict Marty and Sophia of anything. Uh, I suppose that's the smartest thing to do. Though if Marty and Sophia were fine, I will be too. Right? Right. So whether she's a witch, give us trial will be in seven days. That is terrible. How dare you do that to give her? First of all, Parker, sit your ass down. Second of all, Mayor, this is the third time, third time we've had this same controversy. Doesn't anybody think, uh, yeah, this is probably weird, right? By the way, hello, Bedtime, Game Stations, Glory Stars, Ainworth, Aurora, Serendipity, Sakura, uh, Carter, how you doing, Apache? Lala, how you doing, Lala? Margaret, how's it going? That so-called anime chick, what's going on? Uh, Kemper Michelle, how you doing? Uh, Laura, La Rochelle, La Rochelle, La Rochelle, La Rochelle, <laughs> Crazy One, and Michelle, how you doing? My God. What do you have to say about this, Giva? Let's talk. Sweetheart. Oh. I should have known. <laughs> Was it ready for that? happened to Marty, I should have known. It's not your fault. Of course not. But I ignored the warning signs. I love that she said sweetheart. Um. I'm, I know you're having a bad day. Would you like a strawberry milkshake? Yeah, of course. Charming. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god. This is so good. Uh, Angus, what do you think about all this madness going on? Hey, Junebug, how you doing? I love any excuse for fireside snuggles with Francis, but I'm worried. What if a malcontent tried to sabotage the fairy? 
My nephew Jamie says hello, Cans. Well, hello, Jamie. How you doing? Parker, we gotta talk. I'm putting you on the trial. It takes some real privilege to stroll into a town you've never even visited, then make secret plans to develop the whole place. Attitudes like Marty's have killed entire neighborhoods back in the city. Yeah, uh, you want to say anything about anything that just happened today? You coward. Larry is good for short. Very good. I'll, I'll remember that, Larry. Uh, Marty, what do you think? Any opinion on what just happened? Huh. I see what's going on here. With the exception of Sophia, this seems to be a last hired, first fired situation, as Dad used to say. You better watch your back, Tara. You were the last one to move here before me, right? Okay, you, you might have a point. Uh, Damon! Damon, buddy. My witch, my witch buddy. How you doing? So Otto was in on Marty's plan. Figures. And will he see any consequences for his actions? Highly doubt it. This town should have voted him out of office when we had the chance. Why can't we just drive him out of office? I mean, we have a big enough body count. No, well, I guess the majority. That'd be kind of like a civil war. Never mind. Disregard my, uh, my ideas, please and thank you. Okay, very well. Uh, let's focus a little bit on uh, getting this, uh, t this wood metal t working table thing situated. Yes. <laughs> Otto probably just wants, uh, wants to give uh, someone punished badly. He probably does, right? You're getting to the good part. I finished the story over the weekend. It's so good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm ready. Are these ready to go, Fennel? Nope, these are not ready to go yet. I'm holding off on growing anything, I guess, at the moment. I don't know. Uh, we do have something in the mailbox. Oh, hi there. It's Lena. A little birdie told me you might be getting serious about a certain someone. Stop by the shop, and I'll explain a little custom we have here in Fairhaven. Oh, okay. So talk to Lena at the general store to find out about the local Fairhaven proposal custom. Hell yes. Uh, all about that. Uh, yes, and thank you. Hello, Queen Zelda. How are you? Uh, anything for the fishing? No, because we have not sent him out because we do not have bait. Let me touch the cat so I can get bait. Come here, Clea, Clear Catra. Thank you. Thank you. We got a couple of bait. Not a lot, but a couple. And this was our... I got to remember their colors. This is Feedy. Um, do I have to give him the chicken feed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hang on a sec. Give all. There we go. Give all, and I will power him up. For five days. Hey, Feedy. There we go. I like it. Get to it, Feedy. All right. Uh, I, I feel so bad for Giva. I, I really do. I do feel bad for Giva. So I shouldn't have to do this. I shouldn't have to worry about this. I'm not going to worry about it. So, yeah. Word, uh, metal table working thing. Yes. That's what we're doing now. Hey, Amanda Rain. How you doing? Priscilla, how you doing, Priscilla? I should be studying for my midterms tomorrow, but watching Cans Live is by far more important. College can wait, obviously, and you don't have to pay. And you don't have to pay. You can enjoy this study book for free, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> Metal working table. I need 600 gold for that, right? I think I can get away with a little bit of money here easily. Yeah, I can get some money. Let me go get some 600 gold real quick. We'll be on the way. Hey, Penguin, how you doing? Hope everyone is doing well today. Yeah, I hope you're doing well today. Also, do you think the mayor is the villain uh, casting blame on others to take the eyes off of him? Well, he kind of already is, uh, in a way. Uh, he's been doing a lot of shady stuff that people have uh, noticed, and uh, we all don't like it, for the most part. So, yeah, he kind of is kind of kind of already, but there might be some intention behind it that we don't fully understand quite yet. But let me talk about this custom thing for proposal. Hi, Lena. I got your note. So what is this custom you mentioned? Well, I've mentioned that my ancestors are commemorated in the statue in the town square, right? You have. I know all about them. Oh, well, I won't bore you with the details again then. The story is a legend now, but the tradition continues. There is a mold of the original ring in Francis's shop that you can buy. Bring that with some medals to Natalia, and she can make you an authentic Fairhaven engagement ring. Good luck. Hell yeah. Purchase a wedding ring mold from Francis. Very well. I, I need to sell you a few things real quick, if you don't mind. Oh, what do I have on me? Quite a bit, actually. Uh, let me give you all of my cauliflower. 
Uh, I have a ton of fennel. <laughs> Probably way more than I need, honestly. I will give you 20 fennel. And then I will give you 10 onions. And I will give you... 7. 7. 7 spinach. 6. Give me 6. 6 sweet potatoes. Alright, that was not 6. That was 7. And that shall be good. Wow, so many eggs. Uh, 20 eggs. A lot of milk, too. Um, 20 milks. There we go. Now we have enough money to make or get what we need to get. Let's go talk to Francis today. I got Jamie settled down watching Frank, Frank and Weenie. Oh, crap. Uh, maybe I can hang out for a minute before he starts jumping off the walls again. Very well. Today, what's today? Monday? You're open tomorrow? You're closed tomorrow? Francis? Damn it. What is the deal? All right, well, at least we can go get this uh, metal working table done. Does it pet your animals too? That's a good question. I don't know if it does pet my animals too. It better pet my animals. In that case, I have to pet my own animals. Uh, let's see here. Give me this. I don't know where to put this. Rotate it. Right here, I guess, is fine. Oh, I can't go any further that way. Oh, this is spicy. Rotate it this way. Okay, we gotta make some adjustments here. Okay, hey, rotate that, please. Thank you. Desk, also rotate right there. Good. I think that's good enough. And then in here, how does this work? A spile. I don't even know what the heck that is called. A spile? I didn't know that's what it was called. Gold pearl necklace, I guess we can make and just sell to Francis straight up. But I would like a spile. How many spiles do I need? Well, I can only make three right now. I probably need like about five or six or so if I want to get it all done in one hit. Uh, let's see if I can make some gold, if I have any extra gold ingots or ores on me. Yeah. I do. I do. I do. Ha ha ha. Thank you. I'm good. I'm just a little tired. I worked 5.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., but I'm not to take a nap so I can sleep tonight since I have, yeah, since I have to be up early. That's one of the worst things is like trying to, um, uh, not that many, trying to survive the rest of your day without trying like without falling asleep right you know that that can be very very difficult absolutely let's make some orange juice four apple juice two yeah because if you fall asleep and take a nap then you're gonna be all, all up and wired for the evening time you know it's gonna be like crap you know <clears throat> I thought she want to help her husband when she said engagement ring. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking to you, Angus. Yeah, I am talking to you, though. Look here, mister. Messenger Cameron is having a hard time believing Giva could be a witch. So sad to see personal bias impacting his impartiality. Unlike how impartial you were during Marty's trial. That's right. You're not as supposed... To agree. You're an actual jack to the ass. Hey, I officially now dislike the mayor. <laughs> if anything, that broke the straw on the camel's back. Never understood that saying, but that just happened right there. You have nothing else. We cannot get nailed anymore by Mar uh, Parker. I mean, nailed it by Parker, the uh, name of the shop. No more nailed it by Parker. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know where I was thinking on that one. That one just came out of nowhere. All right. Anyways. Yeah, Otto doesn't get sarcasm. He doesn't, does he? He's very, like, straightforward. Thank you, Sakura. I appreciate that. What the heck are you doing out here by yourself? You all right? You're way premature. You're way here early. What are you doing? Um, I would like to do a little bit of this, please, and thank you. Give me this. We have plenty of Nagella, Nagilas. I don't even know how to say that word, but we'll put it in there. I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to go put these taps on now, right? Let's put the taps on. It was for the, uh, 
I forgot which one it is. The green one, right? Is that the third one? No, that is not the third one. It's the purple one. There we go. Purple one. Yes, yes, yes. Zap it, please. Wait, no. Is This doesn't feel right either. Is it this one or not? It is this one. Okay, yeah. This one indeed. All right, so let's go put these trees on standby here. Hey, yo. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. And we only need five of these. Now, I don't know how long this will take. I guess I should check, right? There we go. There we go. How long does tapping take? <laughs> eight days. Okay. Um, eight days. So that means the insta boost, the insta harvest, the uh, instant uh, brewing thing is a must. Because ain't nobody got time for eight days. Let's be real here. I mean, even though we have give us trial, trial, trial in seven days, right? We're going to put an inst like a boost yield on them, though. We'll get that rolling, at least. And then we'll head out and uh, start collecting more materials for... And we can't go through here, right? Yeah. Start collecting more materials for the insta harvest thing or the insta, you know, that potion thing. You can't speed it up. Damn it. All right, well, I guess we're not going to be doing that. So you can't speed it up, and you can only wait the eight days. I wonder if that's built by design, right? I'm assuming it is built by design. So eight days, that seems so long. So that's after uh, give us trial, then we can uh, do the do the taps, yeah? I guess the day after her trial. Interesting. Silence and potion, I guess, is the next thing that we're going to have to do. Uh, so we'll do that. I guess I should hang out here at the coven. Until we wait for the witches to arrive, in which we will talk to them, see what they're all about, see if, they, if the high priestess has anything to say, or maybe the journeyman, anybody? Anybody have anything to say at all? That hurts. That hurts my heart. Oh, the high priestess does. Lena, I, I mean high priestess. I know. I'll craft and cast this incantation myself, novice. Oh, well, that's good. Just bring me the items after letting the farseer look at them. Don't mean to interject, high priestess. But you know Parker better than anyone. Maybe you should choose the objects you want me to read. No. It's better that I keep him occupied before he casts suspicion on one of us. We can't afford to lose a single member if we're to turn the season. So find some of Parker's personal items for the um, uh, banishment. Okay, well, I get it, right? I get it that she wants to be cautious. She doesn't want to raise suspicion or anything like that. But she can at least tell me. A personal item right something crafted by parker and, and a personal personal item she can at least tell me i've tried my best to keep my role in the coven separate from my family life maybe that was a mistake but it's a mistake that's too late to undo by the way hello fane yeah she could at least tell me so i'm not like running around aimlessly but regardless, it's probably going to be something in his shop, right? Now, I'm trying to think kind of like how Angus had the picture, right? Does Parker have anything in his shop that is worthwhile? Ah, you freaky man. Is there anything in there, maybe? And he's open tomorrow, at least. So at least we can peek in there. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Which one would you choose? Engage before or after the trial? Uh, that's a wonderful question. <laughs> that's a wonderful question. Um, that would be kind of funny. Oh, you just, Tara, you just married somebody who is literally on the stand for witch trials. <laughs> that's a great question. If there was a resort here, surfing competitions would probably start up again, but the water would be ruined. Nobody's going to do surf surfing with you. a mouthful of really oily water? Gross, bra. I already think it's hard enough to swim in the ocean when you have salt water, but oily water? I can't imagine what that tastes like. Hello, Kim. You did a really great job organizing the feast, Kim. Thanks. I felt really weird having it without Sophia and Juliet there. I agree. You I agree. really bugs me? No one else seemed to even mind that they didn't come. I was a little upset. Still upset about it. And, you know, but honestly, they... 
I mean, we can't force them. Hey, Damon. Oh, we already talked to you today. Uh, Bruno, your son is literally kind of a dick. Um, believe it, witches? Yes. I sure do. I didn't believe it in myself, but Otto said I should. Could he be right? What else have I been missing? Ah, that's a good point. Do it before so that they're not fully feeling like they are doing it alone, right? That's a good point. I had completed the entire story before I even romance anybody, and then I didn't continue to engagement in marriage. That's part of why I'm playing again. By the way, hello, Danny. How are you? Kind of want to fish a little bit, but I have a robot for that now. I mean, F, right? That was a very inventful, like, first day back, right? I think so. I do if you I do know if you are engaged to someone and they have a cutscene, they call they can call you honey or something like that during it. Yeah, you know, and that that's kind of what caught me off guard during that uh, little thing that we were attending is that we called uh, give us sweetheart. We're like, oh, don't you know, I hate that you feel so bad, sweetheart, you know, type thing that she's, you know, witch trial. <laughs> so, you know, there was that. Let's see here. I'm assuming uh, my animals are fed because of the robot. Now, them being pet is not a bad thing. You know, it's actually really good anyways. Is that the robot? The robot's in there. Does he pet him? I, I don't think he did. <laughs> I don't think he did. Okay, question here, chat. What do you think? See these mouses right here? I know I go on about them all the time. Question, chat. Should these mouses be plushies? Yes or no? Those mouses. I think they should. I absolutely think they should. I think that would be an awesome plushie. Hello. It's better to let the ones uh, you, you love know all about you than to keep something from them. My loved ones know I'm a... Uh, wait a sec. Time out. A wick... A wick... A wickon? A wickon? It was rough to some, but normal now. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. A plushie. Time for bed. The only reason why I bring that up about the whole plushie and the mouse thing is because... Um... On Twitter, the developers were like, they were showcasing this mouse. And they're like, everybody has fell in love with this mouse. And I'm like, I'm suggesting, I'm like, yeah, you should make it a plushie. Right? Absolutely. Feel so blessed to have Coral Island and Wildflowers in one day. Isn't that great? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it a lot. There we go. There we go. Well, I guess with the essence of joy now and things like this, I know we can't use it on our taps, but... At least we can prepare for Instagrow later. What do we need for this again? One more Wolfsbane. Right. I don't know where I where I can find the, the next Wolfsbane. I don't know if it has to wait until we progress farther into the pillars that we're in now. By the way, hello, Michelle Wright. How are you? Michelle Castle, Castle Lion. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm really not sure if we have a, wow, how do we have so many chicken feathers? I don't even know what we do with all the feathers. Can we sell the feathers? Yeah, so, that's in, like, I guess, um, to be determined. You can go back to the second pillar and collect more. So even though that we went through them, you can go back and collect more, do they, like, respawn? Is that how it works? Let's get that going. There we go. Uh, we don't have the fish. We don't have that. Uh, we will do a sweet potato vodka. Absolutely. That's going to take a long time, actually. So I'm not going to do two. I'm going to do one. And I'm going to hit it with the silver essence. Also with the silver essence. And then we'll continue. They respawn. Okay, good shout. Good shout. Damn it, my speed. So I'll go back through this. I'll go back through the second one. 
and see if I can find anything from it. Does Kim sell animal fat? It's a good question. Off the top of my head, I don't think so. I think maybe the only way to get animal fat is if you sell her an animal. Maybe? I don't know. But I could be wrong about that. I it doesn't it doesn't like when I think of her menu, I don't think of the meat, but I don't know. I, I haven't really like I don't know if you can upgrade her shop like you can with others. There's our black tea going. Black tea should be fine. Oh yeah, that's how we're gonna make our chai teas eventually for Giva. Did you do your job, robot? I didn't pet the chickens, but you know, it is what it is. Every four days there should be four wolfsbane. Okay, good, good shout. I did not know that. Getting ready for the winter at the moment. Oh, very good. There we go. Oh, such a good cat. He doesn't, I don't think. So Francis is still not open today. So I guess one thing we can do, go get the wolfsbane. Um hang on a sec. Go get the wolfsbane. Don't get that. I don't... You can't, like, gift people jewelry. So if we go to Francis, this is all strictly... Ugh. I don't want to use an amethyst on that. This is all strictly selling to Francis, correct? I think that's how it is. Mouse plushies, yes. And petting animals is good for them in your own and for your own soul, right? <laughs> I married Wesley, but I stopped after the play po potion permit and now Coral Island, so I don't know what what happens like the kids or anything i could have fast traveled though i'll be honest i could have fast traveled to here but we got to talk to parker anyways yes hello hello hi parker how are you uh feeling never better angus and natalia might have gotten it wrong but i think we have really found the malcontent this time so what can i do for you today Need something built on your farm? No, just came in to admire your workshop. You're always working on something cool in here. Oh, thanks. Not too many folks really appreciate handmade woodwork anymore. Here, I want you to have this. I've been practicing this new carving technique. Maybe when I get good enough, I can sell these in the shop too. He's always working on good stuff, but like all year long, he's been working on the same table. <laughs> so we got something from him. Right? We did get something from him. Now we just need a personal personal item of his. I have to assume it's somewhere in here. But then again, maybe Lena tells us something about that. Maybe? I, I'm really not sure. Hang on a sec. Excuse me. Okay. Checking on something. Bella's at the groomers right now. So I just got to make sure she's okay. Make sure she's not ready to go. Uh, Lena, let's Parker talk. is outraged. Malcontent or not, what Marty was trying to do here could have been very destructive. This place isn't just picturesque real estate. It's our home. Okay. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Mm. I, I have to talk to him. You're, you're guessing the mal malcontent is auto? He must be so disoriented. I really feel for him. On the upside, I can finally show him my shop. I've been collecting books on Taino folklore just for him. The Wraith only takes over members of Cameron's church. Coincidence. Parker. Giva. Angus. Hey, Tara, what's up? I'm packing up a batch of Ikura and ice to send home to my sister and her baby later. Do you usually send a baby fish eggs? Yeah, it's a perfect baby food. All the omega acids for little growing brains. My dad used to make us chirashi bowls with Ikura and fresh uni. I'm that sounds totally so good. I'm the same for my little ones someday. Uh, I bet you'll be a great parent, kids, like plural. Don't you need a partner first? Come on, Tara. I bet she'll be a great parent. Just we'll have to keep the knives up high. Oh, yeah, no doubt. My parents were militant about us staying out of the kitchen after my sister got too close to an open flame and the end of her ponytail caught on fire. 
I got to dump a glass of water on her head with no repercussions, though, so <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> I gotta say, this would be a pretty idyllic place to raise a family. I can see why Hazel chose it. Maybe you came back because you feel the same way. I haven't really thought about that stuff yet. I'm still trying to get the farm in order. Well, I bet when the time comes, you'll be a great mom. If that's what you want. I'm engaged? Intimate friend? Shit. <laughs> that's a good point, no, Lala. That is a good point indeed. Yeah, Nat uh, Natalia, Angus, and Parker, right? Very, very much a good point there. Let me hang on a sec. Let's just see. Uh, sorry, uh... Yeah, do you sell fat? You do not sell fat. So no fat. So I think the way to get fat is if you sell a chicken, correct? I think that's how you get fat. We could sell pork that she gave us because we don't really use pork. We'll just do that. Thank you, Kim. Where does Lena and Parker live? I think they live up, up top, but nobody can go into, into the people's houses. Now... Breaking into the shop, when we had, uh, when we broke into Natalia's shop, we at least went in there and there was like, oh, hey, why are you closed right now? Like, we went into the shop and saw like, oh, you know, there was Natalia's hammer. Maybe I can get it somehow, but I'm not even like getting that from in here, you know, like that little pop up of like, oh, hey, um, here's Parker's hammer. Maybe that, you know what I mean? But maybe, yeah, maybe we need to break into the, uh, into the shop. So I can at least give that a try. Which, you know what? Let's actually do that now. Let's actually, well, not do it right now, but let, let's go make that lockpick, because I don't have that incantation going on. is delicious. Hey, uh, Sierra. Hey, Eileen, how you doing? Mmm, I could get some wine possibly going, or something, cider... Some apple cider going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll get the pop-up when you break in. Okay, very well. So I guess the game wants you to just kind of think of it in the lines of, yeah, you know, kind of the, you know, same way as you did with Natalia. Okay. Do I have any more for chai tea? I'm just at a cinnamon, right? It is like storming outside. Uh, not in real life in this game. It's it's like, what the heck? This is a bad storm. It's like 2 p.m. too. It's dark. It's the middle of the day. This has not happened before. Right? Now 3 p.m. Wesley's in the butcher shop. That hasn't happened either. Excuse me. Uh, I need some cinnamon. Do you have anything available? You do. You have one. Damn it. I will buy your seed, your black tea seeds. PCs, because uh, I have a I have an upcoming wife that's gonna like need all of it. Why are you chilly too? Whoa, God, lightning! All right, all right, all right, all right. What is happening, Wesley? I don't even know why I come to you for my protection. That was just out of pure instinct. <laughs> okay, let's go make some chai tea, I guess. Where's our meteorologist babe at? <laughs> Shapeshifter time? Oh, is that what you need? Shapeshifter? No, wait. Do you need shape shapeshifter and lockpick? Is that what you need? Or do you just need one? I guess both won't hurt. I need paper? Paper. Okay, two papers at least. Do you need uh, both? Hey, easy. How you doing? How's it going? Thank you. I appreciate the compliment on the hair. <laughs> um, paper. Just a lockpick? Yeah, okay. So no shape shifting? Okay, let's just do the lockpick then. You're the only person in the world who shortened my name to Sierra and didn't pronounce it like Sarah, which I hate. Kudos to you. That's good, right? Yeah, Sierra? <laughs> Am I the only person in the world, too? <laughs> that makes me feel a little special. And see, that's just... Like, I'm bad at pronouncing stuff, as most of my Australian friends know. But 
I like to pronounce words that I see as it goes. So sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't. All right, so I should be able to go in. No problem. Okay, let's see here. It's 5 p.m. It should be done. Like, he should be out of here. Lena, don't watch what I'm about to do. He's gone, right? I should wait until it's dark to break in. You know what? Um, I'm sorry, Tara. I did not realize you were smarter than me at being a burglar. You're right. We should wait till dark. It's like you've done this before, which you have. You certainly have. Hey! For your amazingly amusing pronunciations of many chat words. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sierra. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the super chat. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I guess I'll just sit here and wait till dark. Oh, now it's technically dark, right? I saw the witches go in from the top. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Angus, step it. Let's go. Move along. Hey, Sassy, how you doing? Let's go. Get it going. Come on, get it going. Thank you. Okay, Parker. What mementos do you keep around here? A hammer. A paintbrush. Uh, uh, Willy Wonka's golden ticket? Hmm, an old bus ticket stub. Why would you have held on to that? Okay, Angus, don't look over here. <laughs> right, I guess a golden ticket is the way to go. I was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. Hey, blonde zombie. How you doing, blonde zombie? How's it going? Uh, Farseer, let me just give this to you. Farseer, all I could find was this faded old ticket stub. It's dated 10 years ago. Parker sitting at a bus stop in the city. Notices a pretty blonde lady next to him. Must oh, be a blonde zombie. She's fainted. He catches her just as she falls. Her eyes flutter open. She says, I said... I'm so embarrassed, I guess I forgot to eat today. That's what I told him. It wasn't true. I had been training with the high priestess of a coven in the city. One of my spells just went a bit sideways and I passed out. Mm. I never really thought of it this way. But the first thing I ever said to Parker was a lie. <laughs> I've been lying to him ever since. He really kept that ticket stuff all this time? Wow, that's pretty deep. That is pretty deep. Parker made this, Farseer. Do you think it might tell you something? Parker spends a lot of time carving these. It's what he does when he wants to think something through. He's trying to sort out memories that aren't memories, or maybe they're dreams he doesn't know. He thought he saw Lena in a cloak, but that doesn't make sense to him. Must have been a dream. It wasn't a dream. He saw me. It was months ago. I cast a memory charm on him. I had no choice, you see? I had no choice. Oh, Lena. Don't judge me, Tara. I did what I had to do to protect us all. Wow. I'll take those items, novice. This is my burden to bear. I'll have the incantation ready before give us trial. But one way or another, this won't be the end of it. I can see that now. Interesting. Lena, I don't... I mean, of course we're not in Lena's shoes, but like... The judgment calls there are quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess, right? But at the same time, that's, that's kind of like... I guess we'll just have to we'll, we'll 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 see where this goes, but interesting, very interesting indeed. And also another thing, Lena. Whoops, another thing, Lena. That the fact that your husband had this bus ticket on his counter in his shop for all these years, and you had no idea he had it. How involved are you, Lena? <laughs> it's been sitting on his 
on his desk for how long? Oh god, a recipe. Gotta go for the recipe, I guess. Oh, Tough having secrets from the ones you love the most? I know, right? Absolutely. Is it? Agreed. It is. <gasps> a recipe. Chicken uh, chicken tikka masala. Isn't that um Give us favorite dish? And the kit, the, the gifts keep on giving. Or, yes, give a. Regardless, chicken tikka masala is now a thing for us. Very good. Okay, nice. Wolf's bane. We're looking for the wolf's bane here, right? In the in the tube, right? This is the two. Do they usually like spawn in here, or can they spawn? They spawn in the second, right down here, maybe. The second tier. I don't know what these are called, right? Second keystones or... There they are. Look at them. All right, let's go quiet down Wesley, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Wesley, buddy. You need to stop howling. You need to stop howling. Everybody in my, uh, everybody in my town feels like there's someone howling coming out of my lake. Like, what the heck is that? I, you know, if I heard that... I would probably suspect the person that had howling coming out of somebody's little lake or pond would be like a, you know, a killer or something. I would think of Tara to be a lot different, really. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This should be enough, and I don't think we can go to Wesley tonight. So we can at least make this now. How long will this take? Eight hours. Okay, so it should be done by the time we wake up. Good. Anything else I should probably do while I'm down here? Maybe make another miracle growth? Maybe? Possibly? I mean, now we have the greenhouse, right? So, we don't really need to worry about too much. Let's see with the chicken masala. How to make that? Masala, masala, masala. Where is it? Roast salmon. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait a sec. Can I make this? No, I can't make that. I, I just see the star. I don't know what the star is all about. Is that just because it's a favorite food or something? Where is this recipe at? Okay, let's start from the from the bottom here. Let's make the chai. Okay, we'll make the chai. Yeah, I think it is. A, the star is like a favorite or something. Um, tiramisu. It's not a dessert. Obviously, it's not a dessert. Am I just not recognizing it? I gotta, like, go through the whole freaking thing. The first one? They're blue bowl? Sorry. <laughs> there it is. Got it. Thank you. Chicken. Uh, chicken filet, chili, tomatoes, and milk. Okay, that's a little bit harder. Right. Got it. Am I ready for bed? Greetings from Germany. How you doing, TL? Uh, am I allowed to ask if there will be fresh content of King of Retail soon? Um... If you mean by me, not by the actual game. Uh, if you mean by me, I'm not sure yet. I haven't thought about it quite yet. A baby game, pure wolf's bane to a werewolf. It drives them insane. Stars mean you've made it. Okay, so the stars mean you've made that recipe. All right. Greetings from Germany. But I should be able to just kind of like push this in now, right? Might be too early. They don't wake up very, uh, <laughs> very early, do they? They kind of sleep in over here in Ravenwood. Is he open today? Wednesday. He doesn't, but that's all right. He should be like at least hanging out though. Like over here. Or something rather, right? Just because he's not open doesn't mean we can't talk to him. 
at least right at least that's what i think unless he just hides away oh wait wesley wesley might be um he might be in the uh, mainland yeah he might be in the mainland you know at his bench because today's his day off that might be where he's at oh we oh today's wednesday too so francis Francis, we need to talk to Francis about the uh, engagement ring as well. So let's do that. Hello, Natalia. I'm going to be seeing you here soon, in exactly. About five seconds, ten seconds, maybe. Uh, engagement, please. Hi, Francis. Oh, those are pretty. Thanks. They're matching wedding bands for me and Angus. I've been working on them for ages, and then this morning, he said he doesn't want to wear a wedding band. Something about being worried about losing it in the dough or burning himself on the oven. I'm trying not to be devastated, but totally not succeeding. That's an interesting take. I know married couples that don't wear wedding bands. Um... I don't have my wedding band on. I take mine off sometimes. Not because of... Well, I was playing softball last night. I don't wear my ring when I play softball because I don't want to break my finger. But um, sometimes I just forget to put it on, you know? It's in my wallet as we speak. I should probably put it on soon. But I don't know. Some people do. Some people don't. Uh, some people get tattoos of it, which seems like it hurts. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he could wear it in wear it a different way. What if... He just takes it off at work. What if you got r ring tattoos? Well, there you go. The, uh, I guess there you go. It says it right there. Um, yeah, what if he just takes it off at work? Now, I do know people that wear wedding, like friends that have wedding bands, and they have like the rubber silicone ones on instead just because of the work they do. Well... Oh, couldn't he just wear it whenever he isn't working? He would totally lose it if he was taking it on and off every day. He's the most absent-minded person I've ever met. But it might be the only way to compromise. Keeping it real, I think I'm just anxious because I'm trying to, like, cobble together a new family out of the two of us. And maybe some kids of our own, if I could ever get Angus on board. I fell out with my family. So he's all the family I have. Why did you guys have a falling out? Oh, did they not like Angus? Oh, no, not at all. They love him. In fact, Angus has been trying to talk me into reconciling with them. But I don't know if I can forgive my brother for what he did. That's what I love about Angus, you know? He's always trying to see the good side of people. Most of the time, anyway. Now we are best friends with uh, Francis. Very good. Hey, Roni. Roni says, uh, when is the next Dinkum live? Uh, soon. It is soon. Let me see. I would like to buy this 1,000. Yeah, sign me up. Okay, we have the wedding ring mold now. Let's go talk to Natalia. Right? I think we have to talk to her. Yeah, talk to Natalia. Hello? What if we could choose our own bands? That'd be kind of cool. Hi, Natalia. Can like you colors? Like a wedding ring using this mold? Oh, I sure can. But bring me some raw materials first. Well, I'm already here. Have you brought the raw materials to make a wedding ring? Yes, I did. I have. Okay, I'll work on this all night. Come back tomorrow. So wait a day for Natalia to finish making your wedding ring. Okay, very good. Have you seen that stray cat around? Yes. I was thinking it might want a warm place to stay until the storm season is over. Don't take my cat from me. Don't cross your line, Natalia. Angus, we talked about, I talked with Francis about wedding rings and you not wearing it because of the oven and all that. What, what is your take on that? I thought I knew what I saw. Now I just don't know what to believe. I feel terrible. I mean, Marty may be a heartless, money-grubbing vulture capitalist, but at least he's not a witch. Hey! What? Uh, uh nothing. Right, uh, that is not the question I asked you. She's closed tomorrow? Gosh darn it! It's like, it's like, I, I never catch a break with these days off, man. I really don't. How many days do we have left here? Five more days? You think she'd give it to me even if it's her day off? Like if I find her somewhere else or no? That's why I thought you were, you, you son of a gun. Got something for you, Wesley. Oh, Sarah, thank you. 
It was really kind of you to help me like this. This is so strange. If the Fairhaven folks are this upset about witches, I can't imagine what they'll do if they find out that there is a werewolf close to their town. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble with your neighbors. That was so strange. I feel like I just gave him NyQuil so he would, like, shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wesley. I don't approve. The game made me do it. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Oh, there's Giva. Hey, Giva. Good day, Giva. If I'm judged guilty, are they going to burn me at the... No, no I won't let that happen. not a thing I'm going to let happen. It's all right. Quite likely that my rage will make me spontaneously combust. <laughs> Here's your chai tea. We don't have to get up off of the booth. We could sit here and you can enjoy it. You must be a mind reader. Oh, I just made a batch of scones and this will be perfect. I will say, I will finally answer the question now, though. Uh, did you tell, did, what is Danielle's opinion about Giva now? So I sat down last night and I finally explained it to her. I finally showed her. I even showed her who the voice actress was, by the way. I put the voice actress in the Discord. If you, if you're, you know, in the games discussion tab, if you're interested. So we put a face to the voice actress for Giva. I showed her, I explained to her, to her who Giva was. And Danielle is fully on board and she says she loves Giva for sure. Do you think it's too late to join up with Emmy and Finn and disrupt Otto's life in every possible way? Asking for a friend. <sighs> Asking for a friend. Nothing here that we need to, like, get, um... Dire, right? I mean, sunflower seeds. I mean, we can we can really grow any of this stuff at any time now. Um, I love sunflower seeds, or just sunflowers in general, so... I mean, I guess I could do that, but... Who knows? Let's go in here and talk to Vanessa. We haven't talked to Vanessa in a long time. Uh, mainly because she kind of sucks, but... I wonder how my mom and dad are faring on the other side of the Fairhaven Bay. Maybe the storm wasn't so bad over there. I suppose it will be some time before I can visit them again. Right. How come we haven't talked about the boat in a long time? Nobody's mentioned anything about the boat in a very long time. Is it still, like, parked underwater <laughs> down here? It is. How has this boat not sank yet? It's been like a week. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Oh, hey, Shelby. The one thing I notice about this game, if you don't talk to every character every day, some of their dialogues and related stuff happened to like days ago, right? Emily, how you doing, Emily? Emily says, I, I'm i behind in the series, but glad, glad I could catch a live. Are you marrying Giva? Absolutely. By the way, spoiler. <laughs> Should have said that before, but yes. Uh, yes, Emily, we are marrying Giva. That's who we're going to be going for. You want to know the scariest part? Even after the Wraith left Angus, I wasn't sure that he would recant. He wanted to believe it. That's for certain. Very well. Dun, 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 dun. Five more days for that. Really, six more days for the dragon's blood. And then, uh, I guess two days for the wedding ring since tomorrow Natalia is, like, you know, closed on a Thursday. Man. I guess that's what keeps the game going. Uh, prolongs it is just all the odd opening and closing times in this game. I don't know. I, I, I always feel weird about it in, in multiple games where, like, people just have weird schedules. There must be some kind of, like, gameplay that the developers think, like, this is one way to make it not go by so fast because of just random scattered days that are days off. I, I, I don't know the thought process behind it, but I would be actually interested in knowing. How do I like the story so far? It's gripping. I will say it's gripping. Uh, I'm involved in it 100%. Every time I load up the game, I'm excited to see what's next. And I'm excited to, to know what's next. And uh, excited to, to get to the next, right? So the game does have that uh, charm to it where I feel like um, I'm just excited to play. Yeah, I am, I'm liking the story so far. I'm really, really uh, grasped into it. It's gotten me, uh, got my full attention for sure. 
Did I get fishy any dates yet and tell it to go fishing? I have not, just because I don't have enough bait. What the heck was that sound? But just because I don't have any, um, I don't have a lot of bait is why. I think he shaved my, he did, he did shave my sheep. Good. Good for you. He must have like a lot of inventory on him now. Excuse me, sir. Holy crap. Uh, I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. You keep the rest. Thank you. <laughs> give a ring to give a. Exactly. Give a ring to give a. <laughs> give us gotta give a ring. Give us gotta give a ring. It's actually the first time I've ever heard of the uh, name Giva. I never heard of the word, uh, not the word, but the name Giva. Never seen somebody with the name Giva, at least. So this is a first. Money. There we go. Wow, a lot of pistachios out here. There we go. I don't know if I have any more recipes I could possibly get in this game. I have. Oh crap. It is. Never mind. A fennel salad. That, I'm a salad guy. I am. I do like salads, but that salad, that doesn't look good. <laughs> that does not look good. I don't know if anybody in real life has ever had fennel salad, but that does not look good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pet the cat, you may get a chance to invite it into your home. Uh, is that confirmed? Because I think our relationship with the cat is full, right? Yeah, our cat with our, our relationship with the cat is full, so we can't get any more uh, love out of it. So I don't think you can. Uh, I think the cat just stays outside. I think just by choice, though. Yeah, Giva is, I mean, she, she must be, I forgot what, uh, I forgot what she said. I think she mentioned about her name, or at least her background when we first met her, but we haven't heard much more about it since, but it means hill. Giva means hill. I wonder, did she say that in the, in the game? I can't remember. I feel like she explained her, her backstory, like her name or her family in some degree when we first met her, but I can't remember. You was able to make your make the cat my pet? Yeah. Yeah. Like like adopt the cat, right? Yeah. Correct, right? Mm -hmm. It's not much I could do as far as like potion making right now. Time for bed. Kind of running low on potions as it is. <sighs> really want to get this uh doing it. Yeah, I really want to get this going. Oh, the subject of the shelter was brought up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Natalia said, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll hold on to the cat or I'll keep the cat or something like that. To keep it warm during the storm. Let's see here. You, miney, right? Blue. Fr no, you're fishy. I mean, you can have all this, but that's still not enough bait, I don't think. So it's not worth sending you out. This is miney or yeah, this is miney. Good stuff. Great job, miney. I will take all that. Thank you. And I will send you off onto another adventure. You be on your way. What's his name? Watery? <laughs> Planty? Okay, Planty. Planty, you won't do anything because we don't need you to do much at all. Right now, at least. Uh, those are doing well. Okay. We need to talk to Kai. If we could talk to Kai, we can then um, see if we get more cinnamon out of him. See if we can get more bait from the cat. Oh, look at the head scratches. Yeah, we could. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good shout. We could get more bait from uh, Bruno. That's a good shout. Yeah, I, I think it was like what five, 
No. Is it 20? I remember his bait being like extremely like expensive, like overpriced bait. Let me see. Maybe at the time it well, I guess he's gonna be closed, isn't he, on a Thursday? Yeah, no, he's not he's he opens later. Okay, good. Thank God. Hey, give a I just need to sit down. Do you have anything more to say about this upcoming trial? Ugh, I hope this winter isn't one of Fairhaven's famously long seasons. I'm not sure I could bear that. You've got robot minions now? That's pretty damn cool. I would uh, would love a few to help m help around my house. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you can uh, once you get the um, robots, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. Just make sure to choose the correct robot first. Yes. Wow. I can't believe Marty's ranch was just a front for some real estate scheme. If he ever comes into my clinic, I'll still treat him, of course. I might use a bigger gauge needle by mistake. That is so rude. <laughs> that comes from someone that has a phobia of needles. How dare you? I haven't been in here in a hot minute. Hello? So Marty was innocent after all. Of being a malcontent, maybe. But clearly he had plans to upend order on this island. But what about the mayor? What do you think about the mayor and like... Uh... You, Cameron, Kirk Cameron, Cameron Kirk, Kirk Cameron. I guess you could be Kirk Cameron in this game, not Cameron Kirk, but you could be Kirk Cameron in this game. We'll just swap you. Kai, no, I'm not even. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I never noticed that before. He sat in the lobby. She came out. She's like, hey, Kai, welcome back. You know, you know, let's do your appointment. What is this for right here? Oh, I guess this is an uh, actual admitted room or something. That's really neat. All right, so what I'll do is I'll go to the beach. I'll mess around with, uh, a not Angus, uh, Bruno. See what he has to say, like how much he's charging for bait and all that. We'll see about that. And then I guess just wait till tomorrow for Natalia. There's not re really much I can do right now. I gotta wait for the dragon's blood to get done. I gotta wait four more days until the trial. I'm not growing anything at the moment. Um, this probably would be a good time to like build upon relationships and things like that but we're ready to go our giddy up is definitely up and ready to go uh, as far as like proposal and all that so if the engagement ring goes through and we can get you know married i guess this week before the trial that would be kind of epic that would be could you imagine getting married the day before the trial started oh that would shake the town for sure absolutely well, you can make, yeah, you can make, uh, right about Marty, but I was right. Can't help but wonder if he set his flock loose on purpose so they'd eat my crops and push me to sell. I'll tell you one thing. I'm never selling my farm. Not to him. Not to anyone. <laughs> yeah, you get worms from making soil. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Hey, Boho Hippie, how you doing? Phobia of needles, you seem like you would uh, be into tattoos. I definitely thought you had some. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I would be into tattoos if I could get past the needle phobia. I do. I, I would be. Danielle has tattoos. She has tattoos. I don't. Just because of that phobia. And I know it's different than, like, getting your blood drawn, you know, and things like that. But still, like, uh, you know. It's still a needle going across your skin. So that, that, you know, that still scares the crap out of me. I did not mean to, I got to go to Bruno. But yes. <laughs> yes. How much? Okay, four. I was thinking 15, 10. That's not bad. Fifty chubs. No. 20 chubs, 20 worms, 20 crickets, and then let's let our fishy go, go to town. Actually, let me talk to you real quick. You have the gold bars you need for the ring? Uh, well, I already gave it to Natalia. She just needs to make it is all. Yeah. This winter is making auto act real. I gave her gold though. Gotta be the stress. Gotta be. I sure hope so. 
I really appreciate the level of detail in the world and how characters act in town. Glad I bought this game. Yeah, the detail in this game is cool. And if you haven't seen Coral Island, one thing that I have been impressed with Coral Island is the amount of detail in that game too. So even in that game, if you like games that have good detail, that game has incredible detail also. Like with the characters around the, around the world. Um, like what their jobs are doing, you know, living their lives throughout the day and things like that. Fishy, let's do this. Kind of want to go to Ravenwood to get more power gems. Sapphire, there we go. Hey, fishy, want to fish? Give them all the bait. Go to town, buddy. I'll see you in five days. <laughs> five freaking days. Let's see if Zephyr is open. I can't remember if Zephyr is open on a Thursday or not. Doesn't matter. Zephyr's there. Hello, Zephyr. Heard you've got a new witch in the coven. Must be a strange thing to just find out you're magical one day. We goblins have plenty of time to get used to that idea. What's the last one? Logging? I don't even know if that's worth it. I think I might have needed that amethyst. I shouldn't have used all of them. My guy's the same way. I have I have some. He does uh he does not. He always talks about getting tattoos every year. I'm just like, yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> oh, very good. Loving this Hoko life. Wish they were on Xbox. I know Marty's type. There were plenty of him in the town where I grew up. All they cared about were the tourists. Maybe I'll eat one of Marty's cows after all. Wesley! Just kidding. Or am I? You guys like this guy? Hey! You like him? You guys... Y'all like him? Raise your hand. <laughs> I feel like I need to get a little bit more parchment. Oh, no, I have nine. Okay, I have nine parchment. I feel like I need to like complete my set here and just like buy the rest of the recipes, but it's fine. Love him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Perry, how you doing? So the two barely competent men are at each other's throats. Hmm? Perhaps you should send all human men to another island. For safekeeping. Otto and Marty do make that sound tempting, but I don't think it would solve the problem. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus? No? <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Uh. I have five of these? I really forgot what they did. Can I sell you like three of them? I have a feeling I'm not going to need a lot of them. There we go. That gives us recipes for concentrated levita levitation potion. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Max revitalizing potion. That's good. What does that mean? Concentrated levitation potion. If I were to take a guess, you get fast travel all day. Is that what that means? Ultra miracle grow? Uh, yeah. Ultra Miracle Grow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will buy that. Oh, it makes 15 levitation potions? Is that what it is? I will buy this too. What else do you have? That's it, right? That's the entire stock, right? Um, interesting. So this makes 15 levitation potions, right? Is that what I mean? So, yeah. This is a mega batch of flying potions. I like it. New recipes. Sure. 
Heck yeah, dude. That's really cool. That's really cool. If you marry him, does he randomly eat your livestock? I didn't want my cows going missing. But I do like him. No, I don't think he eats your livestock. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, I think he has a little bit more self-control, maybe. Humans have hearts of stone. Not all of us. Hmm, maybe not. But too many of you. I love like the only existence like for him is for his freaking hair. That's it. Like if you need anything, you just he only sells his hair. We haven't seen this in a while. There you go. Easy 285 right there, I think, right? Do I just go to him now? And just deliver him his feathers? 285? Hello, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, my fellow prankster. Ah, uh, excuse me? Okay, so it's time go pick up your wedding ring from Natalia's blacksmith. I'm sorry, it's time she's closed. She can't be it's it, no no, it can't be time unless she unless you think I can get it from her right now. No, I didn't think so. Tomorrow I can. And then when you have a lot of levitating potion, you can sell the extra to parry too for a lot. Very good. Very good. I dug for 11. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Parsley. I don't like, honestly, I don't. I wish the game would tell you how many recipes you had left. Like kind of like a, uh, a tracker, like. Oh, yeah, you have like 32 out of 50 recipes, right? Unlocked. Because I don't know if I should be up here looking for more recipes or anything like that. Or if I already have everything. I could be chopping more wood down. But, I mean, there's not really a, a point of like chopping wood down. Now that we can't make anything from Parker, right? I mean, yes, you, you need it for like ingredients and things like that. But, I mean, other than that, right? There's not really a, a much needed... I much need to have more wood. I barely touched any of the Ravenwood recipes. Maybe I should go into my first save and just make a bunch of stuff since I already know the story. There you go. Do I have a lot of weeds on me? We were out before. I have very little. Who is everyone's favorite character in chat? I think Shelby might be mine. I do like Shelby. Shelby or Violet? I like Violet. I saw on Twitter, a lot of people are like, um, a lot of people are like, they tweeted at the devs and they said, hey, you know, in the next update or in the future update, can you like make Violet a romanceable character? Which, I like Violet a lot. It'd be cool if you could romance her. But as far as, like, story-wise goes, I don't think she should be a romanceable character. I just don't. That was so loud. My God. I feel like she shouldn't be a romanceable character, though. Time for bed. I think that would just complicate a lot of things. You know what I mean? By the way, as soon as I said that, somebody followed me on uh, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitter. You, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Wesley and Kim. I have seen a lot of uh, uh, Kim fans also. Yeah, Shelby and Violet. Even though somebody did mention that Shelby does look like the guy from Toy Story. Stinky Pete. But you know what? Ever since somebody said that, I can't ignore that <laughs> i can't get that out of my head oh, what a good turn. i take the blame on that follow <laughs> 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 
If you look into the purple book in the recipe area, anything gray is not a recipe found yet. Right, right, right. Like this stuff, right? Like, uh, oh, wait. Are you talking about the food recipe? Wait, hang on a sec. Are you talking about the food recipe or are you talking about the... Like the actual, like, book book? Ah, very good. Wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I have like 30 recipes. I still have yet to... My good God. 30 recipes still that I haven't even seen. That's crazy. Absolute crazy. I'm thinking about making another one of these, but... I'm on the fence. Regardless, though, I want to see what this is. So, Miracle Grow Boost. What do we need for that? Essence of Gold. Oh, that's good. And Heather. Easy to make. I'd rather get these bad boys going now. Ultra Grow Potion. Bumper Harvest 1. Okay. Aha! That needs the Anemone. 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 Many. Flower. Correct. <laughs> Very well. So I can definitely see where gold and silver are going to come in handy here. Don't know if I wanted to put that gold in. Yeah, it's fine. We already need, we already have enough gold. Violet would be a fun wife. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Hello. Ring. Okay. I finished making your wedding ring. Thank you. Good luck. Oh my god, look at that. Did you Ah, oh, shoot, dude. Tying the knot, Fairhaven style, the moment has arrived. Take the wedding ring and propose to give a... Yo, first of all, time the F out. What? Did you see that? Oh my god. Can I see that ring? There it is. Look at that. That is so cool. So, why is this so cool? This, it's kind of like Danielle's ring in real life. Danielle's ring is like this, right? It has, it's a two-tone ring. It has the silver, right? And then wrapped into it is rose gold. So it's silver and rose gold. And then obviously there's like a, there's a fat diamond on top of it. But like, that looks so, <sighs> good job, game. Round of applause. Fantastic. Good job. Great job. Oh, that's so good. That that looks just like her ring, but just not the, you know, what's it, what's it called? Um, yellow gold? Yeah, not the yellow gold, but the rose gold. Take the wedding ring to give a, absolutely. Three more days to the trial. It's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, it's actually happening. Give a, you work on Friday, you do. I'm going to propose to you at work. Hey, Crystal. How you doing? Faves are Violet. Sounds like family. Giva has a lovely accent and is shaped like my daughter. And Kim is voiced by an actress I like from uh, Dimension 20. I keep forgetting about the part of the purple book. Uh oh, I got to dig first. Crystal, Crystal, how you doing? I like that the inventory and bag space isn't an issue. Running out of bag space was always frustrating in other games. Tara has magic pockets. I know, right? She got magic pockets. She's got a magic like skirt going on here, but a recipe. Buddha's delight. That looks delicious. No, but yeah, you're right. And that's one thing I like about this game a lot too, is that you don't have to worry about inventory. That's not what the game's about. The game is not about inventory management. And I think that's brilliant. I think if you had to worry about inventory in this game, it probably would have been a little bit of a buzzkill, correct? But the fact that you don't really tells you that the devs want you to experience this adventure and experience this story, right? Because after all, you just see it playing out. They put a lot of work into the characters and they put a lot of work into the voice act actors and actresses, you know? She is not here. I thought she worked on Fridays. I don't know my own future wife's uh, schedule. She does not work on Fridays. Okay. <laughs> That's it's a little awkward. Maybe she's in the diner. We can, uh, we can, we can propose to her in the diner. 
That'd be pretty cool. Someone, I saw someone propose at McDonald's. It was cute. I'm trying to think of all the places I've seen people get proposed at. At like a park. I've seen it at a park. Like a, you know, a community park. Oh, I've seen it at a restaurant. Right? That's a very common one, I think. Like at a restaurant. Right? I was told someone proposed to their, uh, their loved one, um, in their office at home while building a desk type thing. Give a step away from Kai. Actually, Kai, let me talk to you real quick. I might need to buy stuff for Giva here. I do. I need to buy all your cinnamon for Giva. Look at that. I bought, I bought that for you. Bella's on her way home. Thank God. Bella's on her way home from the salon. Thank you, Danielle. Gotta dig first. You need to try to find those 30 recipes somehow. F digging and fishing, right? I can carry 100 fish sticks with no problem. Worrying about inventory det det detracts from the story. I agree. I proposed to my ex at my sister's wedding. Proposed at a wedding. That's very interesting. I haven't heard that one before. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Buckle my freaking shoe. We go to the lighthouse. The broken down lighthouse. I have something special for you. Oh. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Lena told me what this kind of ring means. Will you marry me, Giva? <laughs> yes! I never thought this would happen for me. <laughs> Where do you want to get married? Oh, <laughs> will do I don't need anything fancy when I've got you that was so damn cute and not to mention she was so happy Dara and give are now engaged yo if we get married she's gonna be living in my house right tying the knot fair haven style give it setting up the wedding Wait for seven more days. Damn it. <laughs> so we'll get married after the trial. Interesting. Yeah, what do you think you can say about that, Giva? You remind me of a raspberry herbal blend, my dear one. Sweet, but restorative. <laughs> Sweet, but restorative. Very good. Oh, that was good. I like it. Fill of emotions, baby. Fill of emotions. That was sweet, wasn't it? I like that. That was pretty good. Now, do I have to... I, yeah, I have to water my freaking black tea. I, I, too, like proposing to people in abandoned buildings. Just kidding. I absolutely thought it was sweet. <laughs> I know. It was a very interesting spot. You would think, though... You would think that... Um, you would think that they would go... At least you would think Tar Tara would take her to the top of the mountain. You know? At least that's what you would think. Right? Go to the top of the mountain. No big deal. So now all we have to do is wait three more days until... Congratulations. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. That was very, very sweet of you. Thank you very much for the super chat. Congratulations indeed. Yeah. You got to put a ring on it, baby. You got to put a ring on it. Absolutely. But no, yeah, seriously though, um, you think I, I, I probably in my, in real life, you know, with all, you know, the history that we have with Gila, take her to the mountain, take her to the mountain. That's it. That's all you got to do. Take her to the mountain <laughs> and have a good time, right? Make sure that we're giving the hearts to, I guess, our cows and chickens that don't have it. Now, if you don't pet your other animals, do you lose hearts? Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> Do you lose hearts on these animals? It doesn't seem like it. it seems like their hearts are permanent, I guess. I don't know. As long as they're fed. A wedding in the forest sounds really nice. I like the forest in the game. Yeah. Especially like underneath that big tree. As if uh, Angus and Francis did. Let's get that going. Again. Get another apple cider rolling. 
Tis the season, I guess. I don't know. I wonder if anybody... Hang on a second. I want to test this out. I wonder if anybody would recognize that we got engaged. Hey, anybody in town? Like Natalia. Never mind. Um, anybody in town want to know about our engagement? Or do they know? Like Kai. Do you know about my engagement? I doubt it. I thought Parker was cool. <sighs> what gives? One yeah. Night, we had a bunch of beers at Damon's and got super deep into board carpentry. What happened to that guy? Where'd this other Parker come from? I'm wondering the same thing, Kai. <laughs> Are you going to tell the coven tonight? I mean, I, I, I would like to. I don't know if they'll say anything, but I'll go to the coven and see what they if they have to say anything. Right. Natalia quickly said and no and shut the door. She's like, I don't care that you got engaged. Which or not, I can't believe Marty came here hoping to turn our island into some fancy resort. I bet he was hoping to replace my diner with some trendy place that only serves avocado toast and matcha lattes. We would never let that happen, Sophia. Damn right we won't. You always have those people or you always see those people um, online or whatever and they're like, you know. They, 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 they get engaged or get married and like for like the next 12 months, that's all you know about is like their, their relationship. And they're like, oh my God, my fiance, my fiance. Oh, how can my fiance do this? My fiance did this. My fiance went to the grocery store with me. My fiance did this for me. Right, right, right. All leading up into the wedding, just trying to show it off and put it into your face. Right. Some of us could be irritated. Like we get it. We, we, we get it. Right. Honestly, we get it. And, uh, and, and then like when the, the day actually happens, when the wedding day actually happens, you think that's it, right? And then to know that this woman that has been, uh, putting it in your face, so to speak, like, ha, huh, I'm getting married. It's like, look, Jessica, this is your third husband. Every time you do this, you say you're, it's going to be the best day of your life and that you guys are going to be together forever. When you just met this guy like 14 months ago, you guys got engaged, you know, two months later after you met. You guys are married and now you guys get a divorce three months into your relationship. I mean, I mean, we see it, right? I think I'm going down a rabbit hole here. I think I've seen personal stuff. I think I'm sharing personal stuff now. Not me, but people I see. Anyways, disregard that. Anybody have any excitement? What happens if we can't turn the seasons? I've asked Wesley to research that for us, but he hasn't turned up anything helpful yet. No one gives a damn. <laughs> no one gives a damn about Tara being engaged. They're like, hey, we got some bigger problems. Your fiance is under attack by the town, by a wraith, you know? We got bigger problems with you putting a ring on it, honey. Fair play. Bow down to the to the coven. My dream wedding would be in the forest during fall where all the nice uh pitch with all the nice pictures too. Oh yes. Is there like specific trees you would want to surround yourself in? Should I go to bed? Francis is a witch? Oh yeah, he is. Sorry about the spoiler, but yes. <laughs> that was me all over. That was me all over. My husband and I are high school sweethearts and have been married for 11 years now. Got married at Air Force Base. That is awesome. Then me and you, Laurie, we, we share something, yeah? Danielle and I are high school sweethearts. We've been together since 2011. That was a weird time for that razor to go off. But yes, <laughs> we've been together since 2011. We've only been married four years. This year... This, this December, we'll be celebrating our four-year anniversary, wedding-wise. 
not relationship wise we kind of stopped doing that but yeah but no we are the same we uh danielle and i met each other in high school and we just been hitched ever since really pine trees and maple trees oh very good very good I just want to pet the one. I just want to pet the animals that don't have max hearts. That's all I want to do. Love that first sight happened to me for 33 years and would still have had had he not passed away. Daughter found her forever guy as well. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Gotta get that chai tea for our future wife. Now, she... I wonder... Now, probably not, but... Well, I don't know. I wonder that if we... When we marry Giva, will she be permanently in our residence, right? Will she be hanging out here? Will we be able to turn grandma's room into our room and maybe something else with this room? Like... I don't know, like possibly a baby's room or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you can have kids in this game or not, but yeah, interesting take there for sure. I think Bella just got home. Bella did just get home from the groomers. I think we're about to get a visit from Bella. Uh oh. Hello. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah, did you have fun? Did you have fun at the groomers? You did, didn't you? You had so much fun. Oh, my God. You smell fantastic. You smell fantastic. Did you have a good time? So good. You were so good. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good job. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Did you have fun? Yeah, you had a salon day. Very good. Very good. Okay, all right. <laughs> good job. Good job, Bella. Very good. All right. See ya. Very well. Sorry, sometimes, you know, you just have to congratulate the dog for doing a good job. You might think going to the groomers or going to the salon is uh, no big deal, but that's a huge task. So you must, uh, she's just excited. <laughs> she's just excited to be home and she's excited to, to, uh, to see me, I guess, so. She's just very happy with her life right now, okay? Love it, right? Love it or list it, baby. And she's definitely not listing it. She is loving it. Okay. <sighs> right. Beautiful Bella. Indeed. Indeed, beautiful Bella, indeed. Hey, Sydney, how you doing? Hey, Cassie, how you doing? You have any more cinnamon on you, my good man? I'm going to eat up all your cinnamon, if you don't mind. Not to take that in a sexual reference. But I'm going to have all of it. Damon, I got engaged yesterday. What do you have to say about that? <sighs> Icona. Now Giv has been accused. Otto wouldn't know a real witch if she was standing right in front of him. Parker either, obviously. <laughs> Funny thing, my Yorkie's dachshund name is Bella. Every time you mention Bella, my Bella lifts her head up. It's like Bella is like the most common hey. dog name out there. <laughs> Don't want to talk? No. Talk became a member. Thank you, Torque, for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, indeed. Thank you for that, Torque. Thank you very much. She smells so good. She's so happy. She had a good time. Yeah, she likes the card too. But yeah, I think I might take her to. The, I might take her to the park tonight, this evening with Danielle. We might go to the park. When my father's and, and do, the, suddenly, do a little bit of that. I had to step up to protect the coven and the town. But I can't even protect my family, Tara. Don't say that. We'll free Parker. We'll do whatever it takes. All these years, all the lying. Was it even worth it in the end? Lena. I don't know. You're, you're in a very sticky situation, Lena. But I, I don't... Don't give up and just keep it together, girl. <laughs> keep it together, honestly. I think I made too much food for the winter feast. I've been eating leftovers for days. I've made beef stew, beef empanadas. 
Are you Beef empanadas? To hungry right now? No kidding. Sorry. Love that fresh pet smell straight from the groomers. I took my cat and she was an absolute champ about it. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. She's old and not good at cleaning herself anymore, so it was necessary. Do you ever wonder what give us doing up by the overlook? Uh, science? I want to believe that's all it is. I wanted to know more of what you thought about all this, but I guess you're not, like, I guess possessed, right? Well, maybe he is. I don't know when the Wraith is, like, possessing. More or less, like, in the act of doing, right? Like, it possesses that a, an exact time. Like, right now, he's probably not possessed, right? That's what I like to think. Amira, guess what, baby? I'm off the market, and I came to your work to tell you. I feel for Francis. It can't be easy seeing someone you love change so radically overnight. Well, an ex did that to me once, but there wasn't a genie involved. At least, I don't think so. <laughs> that there is a witch standing in front of Otto every day. I think the silver witch is his wife. Dork says, hey, I always miss your lives, but I'm loving watching your playlist. Thanks for being awesome. Thank you, Torque, and thank you for being awesome. Appreciate it. And I'm glad you joined the members list. Thank you very much, Torque. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. Absolutely. I'm really worried about Lena. The bags under her eyes have bags. She told me she couldn't sleep because of what Parker did. And she barely slept already. You and me, Violet, we're in the same boat here. We are in the same boat. Let's go see if we can maybe... Yeah, talk to Marty. He does hang out out here sometimes. Let's see what Marty has to say. Any luck with your wolf search, Marty? No, but the howling stopped. Who knows? Maybe it was a trick of the wind in the first place. Good. I'm glad he acknowledged the fact that we took care of the problem. Don't rub it in Damon's face. You done crush his heart. I know, right? <laughs> he saw it coming. I'll rub it in Amira's face because it seems like she goes through girls like no nobody's business. Hey, Shelby. accused giver what now i say we count our lucky stars that these witch hunters are so bad at hunting witches we can set parker free and maybe sort out this whole mess finally very well <clears throat> hey ashley ashley brown says do you play in normal or relax i think i play normal yeah i think i play normal um i wonder if i could check that through the settings? Yeah, day speed, normal. Yeah. I don't know what it would be like if it was in relaxed, how slower it how slower it is. But yeah, I do play normal. Gonna go to bed now, getting past eleven PM here. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Have a good one, Fane, and thank you for hanging out with us today. Appreciate that. And all that good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. Here we go. Vanessa. Have a good rest of your night, Fane. So, did you know about Marty? No. I had no idea. Otto usually asks for my advice on major decisions, but this time, not a word. Sorry, I'd rather not talk about it anymore. Oh, I bet you they are having some conversations at home in, in that giant mansion they live in, right? Hey, 5 p.m., everybody's going to be locking up, right? I like how Kim locked up Lena's store. <laughs> what the heck was that all about? Kim says, hey, or Lena says, hey, Kim, can you just lock up my store for me? Kim's like, I got it. Well, they are neighbors, I guess, right? As far as, like, uh, business neighbors. We haven't seen our fishy robot in a while. We gotta find him and see how he's doing. Maybe he has a lot of fish. With the fishy robot, I can definitely understand where this fish embargo, embargo on the fish sticks come from, for sure. <laughs> She's even we wearing silver and blue. That's a good, that's a good, yeah, that's a good point. Very good point. <laughs> All right, we're getting super, super close. Very, very close to the trial. And this is when things are going to get really spicy here in a sec. Uh, 
there's auto you know what hey hey buddy you're trespassed dude you're not allowed to come through here can i trespass you through here we never want to believe the ones closest to us might be a witch but sadly not everyone is as good a judge of character as i am get the hell out of my farm look at look at look at you look at you look at look at how you nobody walks like that auto Nobody walks like that at all. Am I right? This man's out of control. He's out of control. Whenever I tried fishing, uh, whenever I tried to talk to my fishing robot, the load screen was always delayed because it had so much fish. Oh my God. Did you put it on like on a 10 day uh, fishing venture? I saw a video that said an in-game day on normal speed is about 17 real-world minutes. Really? So, like, the game speed that I have now is, like, 17 minutes? I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Because that seems like we're burning through 17 minutes super fast. Unless we are. I guess it depends on what time you wake up and what time you go to bed, right? I kind of really want Vanessa Soft to be a witch. Be the worst. 10 day and gave it a hundred. <laughs> hundreds of baits. Okay, well, I see then. <laughs> I see where you, uh, you done did it there. <laughs> All right, tomorrow's the witch trial, which means the day after should be the blood or dragon's blood. And I guess in five days will be our wedding. So there's really, really not much we could do for today. I mean, everything's kind of on standstill until this trial. So what I'm going to do on this Sunday, plus everybody's closed on a Sunday anyways, I'm just going to turn in extra early and we're going to start the trials. Because there's nothing I need to do immediately and everybody's closed on a Sunday for the most part. So let everyone enjoy their Sunday and then on Monday, this will be the day that we go to trial. So here we go. Are you kidding? You can't seriously think that Giva is guilty just because she's not from here. In front of my house? You're not from here. See, Tara doesn't think Giva's a malcontent, do you, Tara? Uh, no, I don't. Of course she's not. You and Tara just want to see the best in people. But Lena, honey, there are real malcontents in this town. Would you want malcontents getting to the kids? Oh, Parker. They already have. What? I'm a malcontent. A witch. You can't be serious. I hope Lena knows what she's doing. Yeah, I say. Prove it. Parker Johnson. See what is true. Release the wraith that's binding you. I... Wait. What was I saying about Giver? It worked. What were you saying about being a witch? Are you gonna tell everyone? Tell them what, Lena? That my wife of 10 years is a witch and that I didn't know because she never told me? <laughs> Parker, wait! I don't think I should have seen that, but I... I did, so, uh... It is weird that they had this, like, weird confrontation outside of my front door, but it's fine. Uh, he should have understood. Were you ever going to tell him, come in? Come, come inside. Have some tea. That's sweet, Tara. And it's what Hazel would have said. But I can't. Are you ready to go to give us trial? I... Yeah. As much as I can be. That's how I feel, too. At least Parker isn't possessed by a wraith anymore. Hazel used to say to me, If you have a problem, you can't go around it. You can't go under it. You can't go behind it. You can only go through it. Let's go through it then. Hey, Elizabeth, how you doing? I sit with you. Of course not. May I have everyone's attention? Parker spoke to me earlier. He'd like to take back what he said about Miss Joshi. Give up. I'm sorry. 
This wasn't my finest moment. Oh, thank goodness you've come to your senses. What is with this town and people changing their minds at crucial times? Facts. Now that I'm complaining. So the matter of Miss Joshi is concluded. Does anyone have something to add? Yes. Soon to be Mrs. It's time to talk about you, Otto. We welcome you into our town. We go to your consciousness center. We fund your soup kitchen. And now this, messenger? Sometimes I lock up the consciousness center fairly late. On more than a few occasions, I've seen Otto sneaking out of the mayor's mansion and into the woods. The very woods he says he distrusts. Oh, that's nonsense. Nah, I've seen him do it too. Dad? Oh, ho ho! Time and time again, you've gone too far. I'm sorry it's come to this. Mayor Soft, you've done more than anyone else in this community to sow discord, whether you meant to or not. I have to agree with Cameron and Bruno. All right, all right. I have been going into the woods, it's true, but it's not what you think. I've been meeting someone. You've been doing what? No, 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 not like that. I just... It was years ago. I was out walking in the woods, and I met this masked woman who said I was meant for great things. She said she'd help me obtain them. But in exchange, I had to help her. And, and then she forced a ring onto my finger. <sighs> I'm sure she didn't force you. Whenever <laughs> I needed to do her a favor, the ring would burn. It wouldn't stop until I found her in the woods. How long has this been going on? Um... Well, ten years? Damn. Ten years is a long time to be led astray, Otto. Long enough for you to realize the wrong you were doing. You try making smart decisions when your finger is burning! Angus, Thomas, could you please escort Otto to his house? Well, we all have a lot to think about. Thomas did not do that. to a close. So there's a lot of information there. Obviously, one thing to take from that is I had a, a suspicion that Otto was doing stuff because maybe there was more to it. Like something was making him do what he was doing. Obviously, it seems like that's the case. Now, we, we, we also talked about last time we played that Gloria could be the Raven, right? Or not. I feel bad for Otto. I feel pumped. I'm so confused. No, I'm I'm jacked up, dude. I'm jacked up on Mountain Dew. Finally. I was wondering when Otto would be stopped. It was satisfying to watch. I'll admit. I'm sorry, Tara. I have to go try to make things right with Parker. I'll see you at the circle. Good luck. Whether she's a witch. <laughs> Whether she's a witch. That was a lot. That was a lot. Well, the trial's over. I'm gonna go see if the blood... Is... He's not there. <laughs> Damn right he's not there. I'm gonna go see if the blood is ready to go. The blood dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see if the... Wait a sec. So... Is he back at his house? Can I see him at his house? Is he like in... Like walking around in his house? Let me see. Oh, the raven's gonna be... Or the, yeah, the raven's gonna be pissed. Let me in. Let me in. Otto. Are you upstairs? Where are you? Ten damn years, right? <sighs> Norberto, Norberto says, hello, Cans. I'm loving your wildflower streams. I watched the first one last night and I'm following along. A big hug from Brazil. Shout out to you, Norberto. And shout out to uh, Brazil as well. Yeah, big shout out to Brazil. Absolutely. Good to see you. I'm glad you came in and told me that. Absolutely. Was he at the notice board? Did I not see him there? He was at the notice board? Otto was at the notice board? Yeah, I, I forgot how long him and Vanessa have been uh, married for. What the hell are you doing here, buddy? So, about that woman in the woods. My lawyer says I can't talk about it. Sorry. 
Your lawyer? Now you have a lawyer? <laughs> right, dude. Whatever. I think I need to catch up with the replay. I'm so confused of how the story is in this stream. He was out at the front. I didn't even freaking see him. I saw Thomas, which I think in the I think in the cutscene it said Thomas and Angus, please escort Otto back to his house, but yet Thomas didn't get up. Angus did. Thomas didn't get up. And they walked him out of the building, and now he's back into the building. That's a little weird, no? I find that kind of strange. I, I know the game's got a game, but like still, what a weird thing. Let's fish a little bit, shall we? We haven't done fishing in some time. Maybe we can get some recipes. Wasn't uh, that auto at the bulletin board as you left? Oh, quick! This is why you need robots on your farm. You don't have time to farm when drama is heating up. I know, right? I don't got time for chickens. I oh, look at that. Look at, uh, look at Bruno over there. A carp. Let's see if I can get a recipe out of this. I'm eating candy while my cat eats treats and we're enjoying the stream. It's getting to be a soul opera, opera in this game and I'm living for it. <laughs> Love to hear that. Yeah, I don't. I didn't understand why he was back in his job. Black crappy, a freshwater fish with black spots. Very well. Black crappy. Never heard of a black crappy before. I mean, in fish terminology, at least. You're debating on whether to buy the game or not. I'm not sure yet. I will say, with this game, it has been a fun time. It absolutely has. And I've put you I put hours and hours into this game, right? Hours upon hours into this game. And, and it's not too too expensive. I mean, you will get your dollar for hour out of value on this game, 100 percent sure. The only problem is is this game most likely won't have a lot of replayability to a lot of people. Oh. Rightfully so. It is a linear story. Uh, there is a little bit of differences you can make in this game as far as like relationships go. But the story altogether is very uh, Hang on. one way. This is a fish. Pierogi. Oh, nice. We got pierogies. Kind of... So I guess it all determines, you know, if that's good enough for you or not. Or not just directed into anybody. I'm just saying you as in as a person, just like in general, like, yeah. Is that worth it for me, right? Sometimes with story games, people people can watch story games on streams, follow along, and they're like, you know what? I don't necessarily need to buy it because I already know what happens in the game. You know? Of course, it depends on who you're watching, right? But, yeah. Hey, Kyla, how you doing? I finished the storyline in this game the other day. Even if you don't plan on streaming this, the after story, you should play a bit more. There are some things that wrap up everything else. Is that right? You gotta admit that fish is a bit crappy. I'm gonna wait here and see what they think about these trials, right? I really enjoyed this game. It was much better than I expected and has a really good storyline to it. Omar says, Coral Island or this? Um, I wouldn't, if you had to choose between the two, I mean, that all comes down to preferences, but if I had to recommend this for Coral Island, I wouldn't put them up against each other. They're just, uh, they're just different. They're not built the same. We'll have to wait for a console release, but definitely on my list to buy. I've taken a black crappy. I've never... Caught one though. <laughs> Hi, baby. You okay, Bella? Hi. You look all pretty and cute. Anything to say about these trials, no? Ways must seem foolish and secretive to one who has not grown up in the coven. A little. We must wear disguises. We must meet in secret, and we must be careful of who we let into our order. To fail in these duties is to invite scrutiny from others. Then there's fear. Fear is dangerous and in the wrong hands, a weapon. 
It has always been this way. Fear as a weapon. That's very true. Very true indeed. Let's go check on the saps now. Thought there would have been a little bit more on that, but there wasn't. Uh, your choices may change the story progression, so can replay. What, what are you talking about? In this game? In this game, if you're talking about this game, uh, no. The choices in this game are kind of all one way. I can, I, I, and I can assume it's one way, right? I'm pretty sure it's one way. There you go. What would Hazel do? We have tomorrow, and then this is done. Tomorrow and the taps are done. I hope Dinkum gets put on Switch. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, James does with Dinkum. I know he wants to bring it to cons console, but I don't know if he wants to bring it to Switch. I mean, I'm sure in a, in, in a perfect world he would, but you have to think about Nintendo also if Nintendo wants to bring it to Switch. Since it is kind of like a direct competitor to Animal Crossing. But you never know. You never know what kind of deal um james can make with nintendo as far as it goes since he is an indie developer and he's he, he he's his own developer and he's he's his own publisher that's the most uh, important thing to remember so tomorrow that will be done we get married in like three or four days that's good is that our fishy guy fishy guy what would hazel do wait a sec fishy uh did you not go fish hey fishy i told you to go fish why didn't you go fish i didn't get any inventory from you what the heck was that all about hey yo hey yo I think she should have told her husband early because those kids might end up with powers, right? Is it time for bed? Very right. They did bring Hoko Life to Switch so I could see Dinkum being allowed to. Yeah, it, it depends. Hoko Life is definitely under a bigger company uh, than Dinkum. But it all depends. I know, I know James is very protective. Very protective of his... Um, of his game <laughs> so it, as long as he can strike a good deal with nintendo then yeah but in the meantime dinkum is on steam deck so that's kind of like a switch if you own a steam deck of course but yeah I've been a Switch person until I found you, Cans. Now my boys laugh at me when I say something about Steam games having far better graphics than Switch, as I know at my age. <laughs> Maybe how you get to the end may be different in knowing how it ends. You can play it at a slower pace. Yeah, if, you, if there's like multiple endings to this game, that would be cool. At least right now, the game for me is not entailing a uh, or not. Telling me a, uh, a, that there's going to be multiple endings to the game. I'm not getting any hints so far, I guess. Right? I think just because I've had lack of control in the story I don't have the entire time. But there could be like a maybe one, two, three different outcome possibly. We'll have to see, I guess, right? Yeah, the robot was busy watching the dramas. But yeah, there isn't really much to really do right now until we get this blood dragon stuff, which we're going to get it today. We just got to wait for the time to, to go down. Like, there's nothing we need to be growing. There's nothing we need to be doing. We're just waiting, basically, for this. And then we'll spring into the action going into uh, the next. I think 12, 24 hours. It was like 24 hours around. I can't remember when it was. It was like 22 hours. We might be like, if I were to guess, maybe six to eight hours away, possibly, from this stuff. Let's see. 
Nintendo is currently asking for lots of money for uh, for Switch, and they don't like incomplete games unless they are their own. Those are current James's. Uh, those are current. Uh, those are James's current issue with Switch. Yeah, and that even goes. And James said that he will not. Um, seven hours. He will not uh, let Dinkum go to any platform until it's full release. And if anything. The game's not going to go full release for maybe another one to two years, at least. I mean, maybe by this time next year, you could see Dinkum on console, on a console. Maybe, possibly. You know? But he doesn't want to, uh... He doesn't want to, uh... He doesn't want to bring it to console when he's doing these early access things. And sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't bring it to console. Seven hours. Damn it. I was hoping I could find a little bit more extra ingredients anywhere, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. No extra ingredients are around. Hey, Katrina. How you doing, Katrina? They asked him questions. They asked James questions on Dinkum. They said, hey... <clears throat> when you do bring Dinkum into full release, are you going to bring, are you going to continue the content with it? And he kind of gave an answer where it, it was basically like, no. <laughs> I think he, he, in the way he spoke and the way he, he told everyone, he said that once Dinkum is full release, he's not going to continue it, I don't think. And he's going to leave it how it is. And then he might be working on another project in the future, right? So that, that's kind of an interesting take, for sure. But in case people don't realize, also, the reason why he doesn't want to do, uh, like, he doesn't want to do PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam for Dinkum in Early Access is because any update that does come out, content update drops, that means he has to do triple the work. He has to do the, con he has to do the updates and bug fixes for Steam. He has to do the fixes for um playstation he has to do the fixes for xbox so that would be tripling his work and he doesn't have a big team if any team at all I don't have any um but he i think he does plan on growing his team i mean he, he sold he sold a crap ton of copies he sold a lot of copies and he is super blessed and he's super overwhelmed right now and he's just he's just enjoying it as much as he should it's fantastic Just make sure you have enough dragon blood. Yeah, I put the um, I put the uh, boost or the yield harvest on it, so it should give out more than just one. By the time uh, Dinkum and Coral Island can come to Switch, they can't promise the same current prices because of multiple factors. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's that's true. Uh, Coral Island, probably, if I were to guess, once it goes full release, is not going to be the price that it's at now. Dinkum, same way, especially when it goes on different platforms. Uh, retailing on different platforms could be tricky and hard to do. So those prices probably will go up. And by then, one to two years from now, you don't know what we're going to be playing then, you know? Is that up? Seven hours? I should have counted. I don't think that is seven hours. Yeah, Haunted Chocolatier. Very excited about that, too. Three hours. Okay, so give us about 6 p.m. 6.30 to be on the safe side, I guess. And we'll be ready to go. I'm good, too, Katrina. By the time... It will be long... It will be a long... Long wait for console versions, but they are worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll definitely still be worth it. You know, of course, if you're interested in the game from then. And a lot of people will be. I don't want to travel too far away from the coven. Because I know I got to be here at 630. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just like chop a few trees down. I'm very excited for Haunted Chocolatier as well. I just... The, the trailers that have happened already with Haunted Chocolatier. Like, I'm excited... 
about like the music so far in that game is pretty good really good so I'm, I'm excited to see more about that that will be a game I play on the channel is Haunted Chocolatiers people have asked me before would you ever do like a Stardew Valley and I like Stardew Valley. I do. I, I'm a big fan of Stardew Valley. The problem is, is that Stardew Valley sits in the, um, sits in the same kind of section as far as like YouTube content, streaming, whatever it is wise. It sits in the same section as like The Sims 4. It's been done a hundred thousand times and people have watched it a hundred thousand times. <laughs> So like everybody that does a lot of Sims 4, it's like the same thing. It's like there's been tons and tons of things. So that that's why I've never done a um a Stardew Valley play on the channel because it's just it's been done so many times, and there's so many more awesome and better uh, content creators out there that have played Stardew Valley that are 100% available to watch, right? For sure. Same with Ark. Yeah, same with... Well, yeah, and that's just the age of the games, right? The age of the games have just been around for so long to the point where it's like, they've been done a lot. <laughs> All right, that should be enough. 6.30 should be enough. Wonder what is behind the big blue crystal in the third part? I know, right here. This is what I want to know. What the heck is that, right? <clears throat> it's going to be cool to see what we're playing in a couple years. Who knows? Um, maybe we'll get a trailer on the next Animal Crossing game. Yeah, you're right about that. See? You are right about that. There we go. We got our five. You are absolutely right about that. I think I got way more than I needed, but here we are. I went all the way this way, correct? Yeah. Okay, so we got what we needed. So now... Uh, fine. Okay, in the gloaming and tap. Okay, now we just need to give this to Lena, I believe. Yeah. Hey, bad sci-fi. How you doing? Sims is all about the builds, though. Or the ridiculous challenges. Yeah. I mean, you have to find ways to spin on it, right? You gotta find ways to keep it interesting. We'll wait for Lena. Lena's definitely gonna want this dragon's blood. I think the people want to watch you play those reactions for your own for series uh, for your own reaction. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's another thing that I, I just genuinely couldn't do as well, because I've played Stardew Valley so many times. So I like it would be a fabricated reaction for sure, which would make me feel super uncomfortable. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's send it. Are you going to play Ooblets? I've been playing it for a while. I think people have recommended Ooblets. I haven't looked into it. I haven't seen it yet. I have the dragon's blood you asked for. Is dragon's blood really this color? I'm not sure to tell the truth, but the sap from the tree is full of magic straight from the wellspring. <laughs> then it's perfect for turning the seasons. I'll be back when I have the incantation. <laughs> So, Spring Ritual Incantation and Spirit of the Flame. So, we have Spirit of the Flame. I might be able to do this right now. Whoops. So, if I zoom back home real quick. Hopefully, I have the ingredients. My God. If I don't, I will be upset. I don't even know what Ooblets is even about, either. But I've had a bunch of people recommend it to me. I will say. A lot of people I've recommended. In the Discord. On, uh, record, on my, on, in the comment section and things like that. There we go. People have said they're playing Coral Island and Ooblets at the same time. I've gotten all different kinds of responses from that. And that's the thing, like pulling out the Switch. I mean, I could do my Switch. I can, I, mean, I could stream my Switch, but it's a little awkward kind of with my setup. Hi, Priestess. Here we go. I think we're ready. Are you ready to turn the seasons? I certainly am. Yes, it's time to melt this winter. Yo! Spring. I wholeheartedly agree. We do need one more ingredient. I'll bring it tomorrow night and we'll conduct the ritual then. Once it's spring and the fairy is running again, maybe our lives will go back to normal. 
Yo, I just realized we could have manipulated the game and having a winter wedding. Now we're going to have a spring wedding. All right. Fair play. Jace Riley, did I say your name right? Jace, how you doing, Jace? How's it going? But we definitely could have had a winter wedding. I wonder, has anybody, did anybody have a winter wedding or only spring weddings? Like, do you get like the snowy vibe of the winter wedding? Or is it just like already pre-made? Does anybody have that information? Hey, Miney. Couldn't you have winter if you don't uh, go back to the coven? Well, I think she's going to show up to my front door or something. Maybe. I don't know if I, if I have to physically go back to her to spring to spring um, this back. I mean, I could have. I definitely could have like ignored her before I did this incantation and have the winter wedding. But I didn't think about it until I talked to her. I was like, wait a sec. Spring? Yeah, duh. We're having a wedding in a couple of days. You had a winter wedding? It's basically you are growing creature. Oh, <laughs> So you had a winter wedding. So in your winter winter wedding, Jules, was it snowy everywhere? Yeah? I wonder how many people had winter weddings or spring weddings. Comparison wise. That's very interesting. That's kind of cool though, that you can kind of like choose it the way you want. That is really cool. I like that. I do like that. It's basically your go growing creatures for dance battles. The story is good. Oh, that sounds cute, though. <laughs> Am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready Am for I... it. Are you dressing up for Halloween? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to be Willy Wonka for Halloween, but Danielle won't let me. I think my hair is big enough for it. It might be too big, but, you know. Give us ready for winter to be over, though. I know, right? She is. She's ready for all this to kind of, like, turn over and be like, God, I've been prosecuted. You know? We'll find her, Sophia. I promise. Oh, hey, crap. Everything okay? Daughter's away. Juliet's missing. We had a fight about her curfew last night. And when I called her to breakfast, she wasn't in her room and the window was open. Uh, I don't know if she snuck out this morning or sometime in the middle of the night. This is my fault. I shouldn't have been so hard on her. Okay, where have you looked? I went to Kim's shop first. I thought she may have gone there. We've checked the school and all over town square, but no sign of her yet. She can't have gone far. We should split up. Sophia, search the beach and ask Thomas to help. Kim, you could check the mountain pass. I'll check the forest. Whoever finds her first should bring her back to Sophia's cafe, and we can meet there. Okay. Thanks, Tara. It's good to have a plan. I can't help find my daughter if I'm hysterical. We better get going. See you both soon. Oh, it's freezing out. I better use a scrying spell if I want to find her quickly. Damn, I sold all those. Uh, speed up the search by doing the scrying. I think I got rid of all the scrying spells. Good lord. Did I get rid of all of them? Pretty sure I did. What do I need for a scrying? How, how long? One hour. Okay, good. One hour. <laughs> My sister uh, had a spring wedding and I had a winter separation. Very good. You would look perfect as Gene Wilder. That, I mean, give me the hat. Give me the hat. Give me the jacket. Give me the freaking... Doo -doo -doo. And then, like, you know, send me off. I'll be on my freaking way. I do have scrying potions. Okay, never mind. I do. That was a waste of, of a posh, but that's good. We're okay. I do need a speed up. We will do speed up. But what if like Danielle could be my violet or something? I I don't that that's actually I mean Willy Wonka and Violet never were in a <laughs> they never were in a thing, but you know what I mean. Pour this potion into the scrying bowl to track down. Okay. Scrying bowl. 
But she could be Violet, and I could be uh, Willy Wonka, yo. And uh, in time for the new uh, Willy Wonka movie, movie coming out soon. I have actually Willy Wonka coffee creamer in my fridge, too. It's pretty, pretty epic, actually. Pretty epic indeed. Juliet. Scrying. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right, let's go. I don't know. Can you keep up with me, little orb? This fe <laughs> it feels a lot like Fable. <laughs> you know that yellow... Oh, dude. That was one thing that made me upset in Fable 2 and like stuff in like, Fable 3 is like... Even... I mean, I guess all the Fables. When you ever followed the gold trail, it was so inconsistent sometimes. You'd be like, oh, my lord. Like, hurry up. This is going to be bad news. If I were to take a guess about what's going to happen here, the Wraith is going to have Juliet. That's my guess. Are you all looking for Juliet too? Sophia came by the shop on the way to Kim's Butcher, but I thought she would likely find her there. And someone's cast an enchantment at the circle, and it wasn't us. Could it possibly have been Juliet? Her father was in the coven, right? I don't even think she knows she's a witch. Tara thinks she's up there, so we got to find out what's going on. Oh no. On earth? Who would have done this to her? She's just a kid. We must find a way to safely bring her down. If we blast the bubble with our wands, she could get hurt. There's a spell that should work, but we'll need to gather the items quickly. Novice, see if you can find them. Journeyman, initiate, go find Sophia and Kim and tell them that we've located Juliet. On it. Wherefore art thou Juliet? We have everything we need. Yeah. New Willy Wonka? Yeah, there's a new Willy Wonka movie coming out uh, next year. When are you playing Mon Ba Zoo again? Uh, I have no... N I Probably, if not ever. <laughs> you want to make her into a big round blueberry? No, I want her to be dressed up as a, like, in her blue dress. Minus the blueberry part. <laughs> I have the ingredients, High Priestess. Let us gather around her so that we can catch her should she fall too quickly. I mean, if she falls, it's like three feet. Spellbound child will soon awake. Where's Vanessa? Vanessa? Did she do this to you? She said... She knew my secret, and she would tell my mom if I didn't meet her by the old tree in the woods. But when I got there, she was wearing this weird robe and a mask. She said that you kept her away, but I would help her get in. You're Giacomo's daughter. Our glamour was a spell he wrote. She must have figured out that he was part of the coven. She made me put my hand on the gate, and suddenly this whole place just appeared. Like it had always been here. Oh, that's the last thing I remember. You're safe now, Juliet. We won't let anyone hurt you. This is just a lot. <gasps> oh, Juliet! Mommy! Are you okay? Uh, what did they do to you? Nothing. It wasn't their fault, Mom. There. Really? Is it Coven here? Wait a minute. I was blamed for something you all did? You're the malcontents. No, we're trying to help the town. Really? Mom, can we please just go home? I'll explain it all when we get there. Well, I'll try. Okay. Let's go, baby. <sighs> so now what? Now we have to find Vanessa before she gets herself into serious trouble. Oh, God, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Will this that was loud. End? Hi, Wesley. Wait. Why are the four of you here together? Wesley has something he needs to tell you. Don't confess your love. Found Juliet. I recognized her. I met her several months ago. She came up to me in the woods and said she had a werewolf suppression potion. One that actually worked. But in exchange, she, uh, Vanessa, I suppose we now know, 
Want an update on the Coven's activities? And he took it! He took the stinking deal! She reminded me of a figure from stories I heard as a child. A very powerful figure. And so I didn't want to say no. And you all want to marry this guy? Hey! I thought you were our friend. I can't believe you do this. I never wanted to be a werewolf, Terra. What she promised was a return to the life I used to live. High Priestess, when I first arrived in Ravenwood Hollow, this kind of criminal would have been sentenced to death at the Coven's hands. Perry, no! <laughs> it is your decision. Not the horse. What will you do with him? Kill him? Right now? Certainly not. While I'm furious with you, Wesley, we don't have time for vengeance. I am grateful. We need to know where Vanessa <laughs> went when she was here, boy. What does your sniffer tell you? <laughs> I think it's obvious she went this way. And then she went through here. Thank you. I should have known it would be the third pillar. She's no fool. She sealed it shut. Well, the diamond, yeah. To unseal it. I think I can make that happen. And why should they trust you? Because I'm the one who supplied her parchment. Over time, I got a sense of the techniques she uses. Here, Terra, you have the skills to fix this. Consider these supplies the beginning of my atonement. All you need now is a sunflower. I believe you can Damn it. them in your green. Oh, I have a sunflower on me. Go ahead, Terra. The rest of us will stay here in case Vanessa comes back. And we'll be returning to Ravenwood Hollow. We've been away for too long. Come along, Wesley. You've done enough damage to the coven already. <laughs> I really am sorry. We'll talk about it later. Could you imagine if we were husband or wife? <laughs> How awkward would that be? Uh, okay, yeah, so that was a lot of crazy stuff happening. So, really, first thing I want to say is, um, do we feel bad for Otto? Otto has been a puppet from his wife, and he had no idea that he was the puppet to his own wife. F his wife. All right, so let's see. I think I actually have sunflowers still in my inventory. So we'll go fly over there real quick and see how that is. Oh, dang it. Do I have uh, magic, though? I don't think I have enough magic, so I might have to go back. I don't think I have any uh, magic restorations here. Uh, I do not have any magic or cider. Oh, I do have some beer on me. There we go. Tyra had a long day. She just chugged four beers. Oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. No? Otto was seeking power for his own greed, though? You have a point. You have a point. It's far too spicy. I feel you, Tara. It is. It's far too spicy. I don't know. There's a part of me... I don't know. Ten years of control, though. It's so hard. I wish beer gave me magical powers. Same. High self-righteous attitude keeps the I feel sorry feelings away. So if he... Okay, so hang on a sec. If he wasn't in a position of power... Would it be different? Drink more magic again? You may, wait, wait, wait. Drink again? You may need more magic? I don't think so. I got everything. I gotta wait till the night time, right? For the coven. So, take the incantation to the high priestess. We have two more days until our wedding. How can... First of all, how are we doing the wedding? Who's doing the catering? Who's picking out the flowers? How does Tara buy an address when this situation's all unfolding right here in front of us? There's too much going on. There's too much going on for Tara to even worry about a dress, a catering company, flowers, who's invited, who is RSVPing. I tell you what, RSVP, Vanessa? No, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. You think anybody in town is going to be worrying about a freaking wedding? <laughs> right now? I don't think so. Oh, God. Vengeance solves nothing. Forgiveness leads to redemption and helpful allegiances. So Otto was meeting with a strange woman in the woods. Any idea who might have been? I'm less concerned with who and more concerned with what she wanted. Whoever she <laughs> is, she chose Otto for a reason. She did. She did. And I think she chose Otto because Otto was just. She Otto was the easy target, right? Because this you gotta you gotta think this happened ten years ago. Now what does Bruno have to say about this about well I guess Bruno doesn't technically really know, but Hey, are, are you okay? You seemed upset during Marty's trial. I realize Otto's not proud of the family business. But bringing in a resort, no more calm waters, no more fish, no more bait shop. And we still haven't like fixed the boat either. Or the ferry. What do you guys have to say about all this? Damon, tell me what your thoughts are on this. The plot thickens, huh? Yeah. Otto was meeting someone in the woods this whole time. Yeah, Vanessa. I feel bad for him, but I, I don't. Not even a little bit. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I wonder if people do forgive and if people don't forgive. Like, okay, so this is my thing. I wonder how... So you got to think. This person, Otto, has been in this situation for 10 years. What would he be like as a person if one, he wasn't controlled by the burning ring, and two, if he wasn't in a position of power? If he was just like a normal citizen, how would he actually be as a person, right? And Otto was in on Marty's scheme too. Uh, technically, their plan wasn't illegal, but what chutzpah? I'm starting to wonder if these witch trials were part of their plan. I've certainly considered leaving ever since I was accused. Yeah, you gotta think, you know, easily manipulated. There you go. Easy. Dude, I need a vacation. <laughs> a long one. In a place that doesn't have malcontent and witch in its vocabulary. He'd be slimy? You think he'd be slimy? If he had nothing, no power, no control, and he had to be the person he has, he had to be. Oh, what is my wife doing with Cameron? Hey! Excuse you. My future wife. Get away from him. <laughs> He's nothing but trouble. I've been writing a letter to my cousin back in Bangalore. Dear Shravya, a man accused me of witchcraft because I was trying to conduct routine experiments. But then he changed his mind. Also, the mayor has been consorting with a shadowy woman in the woods. Fortunately, the ferry is still out of service, so I have a front row seat to all this for who knows how long. Well, on second thought, better not send that letter. If you sent that letter out, they'd be like, where in the world do you live? <laughs> I finally realized where I recognized Marty. It's been bothering me all this time. I saw him at a party in Hollywood once before I joined the league. Of course he you did. was arguing with a bouncer at a club trying to get in. He dropped the Maplethorpe name, but no dice. I wonder if that's what he wanted to do here. Build a trendy nightclub where he could always be a VIP. So Otto was meeting a strange woman in the woods. Oh yes, quite a nasty surprise for his wife, I suspect. She seemed shaken. But then I've been having secret meetings in the woods too that my spouse knew nothing about. I guess I'm the last one who can judge him. He has a point. It has a freaking point. Interesting here. Yeah, um, there's a lot to be said here. Absolutely, there is a lot to be said. Wesley, let me talk to you, first of all. What the hell is your problem? I stopped in at Sophia's this morning. She's finally smiling again. Must feel good, knowing that the person who let her get scapegoated is paying for it now. Now, Wesley is all about vengeance, right? Right? If Wesley could, he would seek revenge. Easily. 
Francis asked me about, like, staging an intervention with Angus about his membership in Cameron's Consciousness Center. I don't think Angus sees it as a problem. And I'm definitely not getting in the middle of that. This is probably the most disconnected I've felt with these people in this entire playthrough already. Like, there's just some, you know, there's just... There's a lot of question marks here, and really, it's 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 kind of crazy. I already talked to Amira. It is. It's very, very, uh, it's like everybody's on the edge right now. And by the way, my wedding's in like two days. <laughs> but everybody's on edge. Violet. Tara, hey, got a sec? Sure. What's up? Your winter present, that's what. Oh. I'm your gift giver. Oh. Oh. What is this? Ah. I was sorting through some bags of my mom's old stuff. I've had more energy to do that lately. And I found a stash of herbs, gems, essences, the works. They must have been from her sanctum. Without you, I never would have found the Echo Blossoms or seen mom's face. So I wanted you to have some of her stash. Violet, are you sure? Totally. And if you're still worried, you can thank my mom when we find her. Wait, Gloria was her mom? This I thought, why was I thinking that was her grandma? I thought it was his grandma. Okay, so Gloria's mom. That was awesome. She's our little gift giver. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, Pat, how you doing? Um, Angus, Parker. You guys don't know what's really going on right now, so I I'll just ignore you. Shelby, if I can talk to Shelby real quick. You know, the Wraith never went after Marty, though. I, this is very far. This is very... I'm reaching really high. Re reaching as high as I can when I say this. But... This is going to be incorrect. I already can feel it. But I, I'd rather throw out the, the idea there. What if Vanessa and Marty... Are, you know, on the side? You know what I mean? Now that's that's reaching really, really, really far. And probably is worthless to say. But I'm just saying, you know. Right? Marty. Vanessa. She says to Otto. Bring in this guy, Marty. Otto says, I oblige. Marty comes in. Vanessa puts Otto into Marty's. Doesn't put him in into his pocket, now does he? See, this is what I'm talking about. Don't listen to everything I have to say. <laughs> Shelby, what do you think that no one finds your sanctum? It'll be hard to explain that before Otto and his neighborhood watch. Honestly, I think the neighborhood of watch should be canceled. It's done. It's done. The incantation is done. Go on then. Read it. This icy charm I shall undo and thaw the stones to let us through. Perfect. Thank you, novice. Now we can proceed. Novice, herbalist, you'll come with me. <laughs> yes. Let's go. The rest of you stay behind in case Vanessa comes back this way. Oh, we'll be ready. Oh, yeah. This works. All right. So wherefore art thou shall thou Julia? What the hell? Did we just get an apple pie for that? All right. Very random apple pie recipe there. Uh, which way did she go? Look for Vanessa past the third gloaming pillar. We got an apple pie because I guess we were feeling frisky. Very well. Now we do have uh, magic restoration potions. So that's good. We don't need to worry about... Well, actually, you know what? Let's hit that already. Let's hit that now. Oh, God, man, that is so loud. Here we go. What's down this way? We don't know. We passed it before, but the force field seems too strong to break on our own. The three of us together should be able to do it. Let's do it now. My wand is not upgraded. Whoa. <laughs> no wonder you're the high priestess. <laughs> Well, if she's the high priestess, she be she should be the one uh, going forward here. Here we go. Let's get another Gloria hit. Violet, look. I just saw a dark wraith, the most powerful one I've ever seen in the gloaming. 
I can't let it escape into Fairhaven. Gloria, what are you doing in this part of the glowing all alone? Who's that? It's Giacomo. Sort of like... No? Dad? Marcus, I have to cast a glamour over the heart of the wellspring to protect Violet. Gloria, come back with me right now. I can't. Marcus. No. Marcus, look out! Marcus. It's right behind you! Ah! You okay? Dad didn't just suddenly lose his memory. He was attacked by a wraith. Your mom tried to fight it off. She didn't just leave me. She was trying to save Marcus. We've got to keep it together, wow. Violet. Vanessa is still in here somewhere. Juliet could be in grave danger. Wow. Wow, indeed. I don't know how I should feel about all this. <laughs> I don't know what to what to feel. Oh, there we go. Vanessa, stop. I've been forced to siphon paltry bits of magic from the wellspring for too long. Now I finally found its heart. You're the one who's been causing the imbalance. That's why the wraiths broke free. I had really hoped that the trials would have smeared one of you, but the wrong people kept getting accused. Well, it was a useful distraction at least. Vanessa, that's not the heart of the Wellspring. It's something else. You're lying, Lena. Just like your father. He said I could never be part of the coven. Fine. Now I'll be more powerful than any of you. Oh, baby. Mom! Yeah. <laughs> you see what I did to the last of your coven who tried to prevent me from escaping the gloaming? Now I am bonded with this dark sorceress. So long as this coven stands, you'll never reach the heart of the gloaming wraith. As you wish. I know how to destroy you once and for all. And I won't even have to do it myself. Is she... No, she's alive, but she's under a powerful enchantment. Stay and help Violet, Terra. You may be able to wake her with a strong enough potion. Myself and the rest of the coven have to go find Vanessa before she wreaks havoc in the town. Holy crap. Violet, I'll be back with the potion as soon as I can. Hurry. Uh, right. So, reviving potion. Yeah, look. Reviving potion. Uh, giddy up. Correct? Giddy up indeed. I will rock around the tree real quick just to see if there's anything to get. Uh, you hold tight there, and we'll be back. Wow. That is intense. Uh, excuse me? Where is everyone? Vanessa came through the portal, but the binding spell Amira tried didn't work. That's because it's a strong dark wraith bonded with a powerful witch. Wow. The incantation we used on civilians probably won't cut it. Great! Lean and the others followed her into town, and they told me to keep watch. I could use your help. We found Gloria, but I, I need a potion to revive her. I'm going to get most of the ingredients through the other portals in the gloaming, but I need some pearl dust. Can you get that for me? Right away. You really found Gloria? This day just keeps getting crazier. Well, let's be fair here. I think I already have uh, pearl dust, but thank you. But also, what exactly do I need altogether? Oh, my Lord. Wow. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, Mickey, how you doing? Yeah. That don't look good, right, Speedy? Exactly. What do we need for this? What are we missing from this? Pearl dust. We should be able to do this, right? Sorry, Francis. I don't have time for your shenanigans. How long will this take? Seven hours? Absolutely not. It happens now. This is dire need. This is time for it. We don't have eight hours. 
We are in a rush. This is do or, do or die, right? We need to do it. Absolutely. Sounds like you're having a winter wedding after all. <laughs> hey, you know what? I wouldn't mind. In real life, I had a winter wedding, so... I wouldn't be too, uh, too upset about that. We have a tech question. How to move the equipment in the shed and basement? Uh, the workbench. And then the blueprint, uh, you should be able to move them. She still hasn't moved. But I think she's breathing. Here. Nothing's happening. Maybe she just in here too long oh no i'm sorry i didn't find you sooner mom don't give up yet we've already done everything we could do <coughs> mom <gasps> it worked mommy Violet. but it can't be you're so grown <laughs> how long have i been in here Four years. Oh, baby. And Bastian? He's doing okay. I've been taking care of him. Oh, my poor babies. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let the Wraith travel deeper into the gloaming. Marcus, myself, and Giacomo had already banished it from the island once. But it returned more determined than ever to reach the heart of the Wellspring. And now it has Vanessa. What? Oh, Mom. This is my friend Tara. She's Hazel's granddaughter. Also, it turns out, Vanessa was a witch this whole time. The Wraith is bonded to a witch? This is dire. Yes. Go, help the others. Go on ahead of us. I need to help my mom out of here. More. Okay, so we actually got Max Restored Magic Potion, which is nice. Find Vanessa in Fairhaven. Uh, right, so hang on a sec. Let's hit this real quick with the Max. There we go. My lord. Um... 8.40 p.m. We might be able to do this. We might be able to pull this off today. I mean, I know, like, time is at, uh, of the essence right now, but what I can do is I can squ uh, squi squ squire, squire, squire her. You know what I mean? Skiri, scry, you know, the freaking thing. I could do that, I think. And be on my way. Come on now. Let's go inside. Find her through this. Vanessa, 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 Vanessa. Oh, I can't. Unavailable. I do have the potion. Scrying. But I just can't do that. Alright, so I had to actually physically look for her. And it's a late at night. Might as well. I mean, if I were Vanessa, be at town center. Oh, God. The, oh, it's looking awful in here. Yeah. It is definitely looking awful. Where would I be if I was Vanessa? Maybe by the ferry? Maybe at the mansion? Where would I be? 10 p.m. It is getting late. I do not have a fast travel uh, thing, so I need to really pay attention to the time. Maybe that would pass out at a time like this, right? No? Let's go to the mansion. Yeah, let's go to the mansion. Ah! Yes! How dare you take the shape of my wife? This is your wife, you idiot. <laughs> you have to calm yourself, Vanessa. Your malcontent energy is too strong. She's not a malcontent, my dude. She's a witch. I've heard that word so many times this entire game. Malcontent. Tara, you got here just in time. Wow. The whole town just saw that too, which is crazy. Natalia, Angus, Parker, you were right. There are witches in town. You just kept uh, accusing the wrong people. I'll give a. I knew something weird was happening. <laughs> the person you should put on trial for being a witch is right there, Lena. 
the head of the coven. This is the Wraith? You're a witch too? I, really, I don't know what a proper response here is, but, you know, this is a Wraith. I don't know if the citizens would really understand that. Don't listen to her. She's possessed by a Wraith. Wraith, let Vanessa go. She doesn't want me to let her go. She's finally achieved her goal. Power over a coven that refused to let her in. Just because she wasn't from an established bloodline of witches! I don't know how much longer we can keep this up, Lena. <laughs> you don't need to. The coven will submit to me as the new high priestess. You have until sundown. What are we gonna do? <laughs> to cast out a genie that powerful, we need more time. Ah, now there's an idea. In this place, I will pause time. The moment that I speak my rhyme. <gasps> That's a dirty trick. But the incantation will wear off eventually. Shelby, the spell only affects this part of Fairhaven, right? If I go get supplies for my farm, time will start moving for me. How am I supposed to make the banishment incantation? You can use the desk in my store. Would that help? I'll run to the bar for supplies, but non-alcoholic kind. Promise. <laughs> Wesley gave me the parchment, but I still need fennel seed powder and a few of Vanessa's personal items. Amira may have some fennel seed powder in her clinic. And as for the personal items, why don't you try talking to the people Vanessa knows best? In the meantime, we'll keep an eye on Raithy McRaithface. Come speak to me when you're ready. The funny part about all this is the self-awareness that the game just all of, all of a sudden like sprung up on here. They're like, oh crap, hey, we can only be in the town. If I go to my farm, which is a loading screen over there, I can't, the time will resume. <laughs> like, they're self-aware of like transitional loading screens into their locations throughout the, <laughs> throughout the town here. That's kind of funny. But um, okay, personal item of Vanessa's, find and craft the necessary items to remove the wraith. Auto, correct? I talked. Oh, Giva. Oh, poor Giva. How is she floating like that? Invisible wires? Oh, sorry, you were asking me something. Items belonging to Vanessa? No, I'm afraid not. Wait, I invisible wires? Do you think Vanessa is faking being a witch? It can't be real. You'll have to explain it all to me after this is over, darling. I'm guessing you are not a fan of Chris Angel. All right, let's walk away from that. Sorry, future wife, but I, I definitely need to go. <laughs> Might as well go into the bakery shop. You guys okay? Yeah, Angus. Gotta bake, gotta bake, gotta bake, bake, bake. Hi, don't mind him, Tara. He does this when he's overwhelmed. He's still dealing with me being a you-know-what. You're not going to bake at 10.30 at night. Let's be real. Come on, 10.30 at night? You, what are you baking? What are you actually baking? All right, let's see. Maybe Kim? No? We don't want to go too far. Oh, Sebastian. Oh, yeah, Sebastian. Huh? You want something of Vanessa's? Have you checked the school? I mean, everything on the teacher's desk belongs to her. How am I supposed to get in? I guess it's locked. Not a problem. Take this. Wait, how did you get this? Juliet and I wanted to see the solutions for a math test. So when Vanessa dropped her spare key, yeah. Wow, okay. Just don't tell Violet, please. That's ballsy, dude. Uh, right, so let's go find, I'm assuming, a whiskey bottle in Vanessa's desk at the school. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> baked at 10, th I've baked at 10.30 at night. We've baked at some crazy times as well it's a good time it has to say bacon at like midnight that's always a good time right if late I night snacks brownies baby off, i'd be in so much trouble she has lots of pens and scissors on her desk at school i guess those belong to her i'm telling you dude she has a whiskey bottle in her desk i don't have anything of mrs soft stuff she's my teacher that'd be weird she has plenty of my stuff, though, that she con 
confisc- Oh, taken. She keeps it all in her desk. You should check there. Yeah, it's a whiskey bottle. What the hell are those? Gloves? These don't look like her usual style. Shelby will know if they're important to her. All right, Vanessa's gloves. Close enough. <laughs> so personal item. And then, wait, wait, wait. What was the other one? It was personal item and... Wait. Vanessa's gloves. Personal item of... So another personal item. Two personal items, right? Oh, my God. You need to answer for everything you've done. My wife is a witch. And a bitch. It's a lot to take in. My wife is a witch. Bitch. Okay, and I can see you're still processing. But I need your help. Do you have anything on you that's important to Vanessa? Uh, I can take this ring off now. Have that. I guess this means she doesn't need me anymore. This is a tough one. I guess this means she doesn't need me anymore. She does or probably not? Probably not. She did play you like a fiddle. Yeah, she or did, dude. Of my successes, actually mine. I don't know, dude. If you guys were playing in between the sheets for the last 10 years, you're not succeeding at anything. That's the, come on now. <laughs> she had control of the whole situation for 10 years. Uh, Shelby, we got to go back to the mansion, right? Yeah. My lord. Love that Tara can just eat herself over the fence with nothing. I know, like, in heels, too. Like, no big deal. I doubt we need to talk to you folks, but might as well. Anything of Vanessa's? I made her a beautiful oak dining table, but that's inside the mayor's mansion. Besides, I, I want to stay out of this. I'm still thinking everything over. He was just a tool, and he couldn't even Which succeed at that. The same as malcontents. I'm trying to believe her. By the way, she said you might need some paper. I'm not sure whether that will help right now, but here, have a few blank pages from the Book of the Mind. Oh, wow. That's very generous of you. I got blank pages from a book called the Book of the Mind? Vanessa never comes to my forge, so nope. Nothing of hers here. Wait, before you go. Vanessa is possessed by a wraith, right? Is it possible that happened to me, too? Yeah, I think that, uh, it's definitely possible. Oh, I gotta sit down and think about that. Don't tell her it's possible. Be straight up. Be like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Violet, where's your mom? I got her out of the gloaming, and she told me to run ahead and help. I really hated to leave her back there, but... Whoa, this is definitely an all-hands-on-deck kind of moment. Do you have anything of Vanessa's I can use for the incantation? Just a bill for floral arrangements that she hasn't paid yet? There's a part of me that feels like... I'm not going to talk to the rest of the folks. There's a part of me that feels like... Gloria is going to sacrifice herself here. In some form, form, form or fashion. That's what I'm thinking. Have you got anything of Vanessa's for me to read? I do. Yes. This is a ring Vanessa gave Otto. Well then. Ah. You've been trying to get into the stone circle for a long, long time, haven't you? Years and years longer and we realized there's a man approaching you in the woods. He looks like he is Otto. But this is the first time seeing him, isn't it? And you slip him the ring as soon as you figure out what kind of person he is. You start courting him, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know you were the masked figure in the woods. Why was she leading a double life this whole time? Because what she wanted and what Otto wanted were the same. Power in Fairhaven. Whoa, Wiley. Vanessa doesn't have the far sight, but stars above. She plans like she does. Well done, novice. This ring holds many echoes of Vanessa. So, Otto didn't know... She was in robes and a mask. Otto was just approached from a woman with a ring. And he said yes, right? Is that how I how I uh, comprehended that? Now, the way it switches scenes to Otto makes me feel a little bad for him. I have these gloves. I got the sense that they're important to her. We'll find out. 
You didn't start out as gloves, did you? You were a sweater. A sweater for a much littler Vanessa. Wow. I didn't think Vanessa was sentimental like that. You put on the sweater because it was cold and you wanted to go back to the place you found while out adventuring. <sighs> the Stone Circle. Barsir, what happened? When she was a girl, she came to Fairhaven one summer. She went out exploring and found the Stone Circle, but she couldn't get in because she met someone protecting it. Marcus drove her off. She never forgot. She's been trying to break in since she was a kid? Wow. Holy. And when she outgrew the sweater she was wearing that day, she unpicked the yarn, had it made into gloves. The gloves sound perfect for the incantation then. You couldn't have found better. If you've got all the supplies, Best get to making that incantation. All I need now is fennel seed powder. The adept can fix you right up then. I won't waste any time. You can't waste time when it's frozen. <laughs> Thank you, Shelby. Vanessa's Wraith Banishment Incantation. So here we go. You can now craft this at a writing at your writing desk. Uh, I think I could just really go to Amira, right? He said the adept. That's Amira, right? I believe that's Amira. Absolutely. Talk to Thomas. One more episode. Suddenly it will be 4 a.m. <laughs> You're curious to hear what Thomas has to say. I will talk to Thomas and Marty since we're here. Oh, wait. Thomas has nothing to say. Oh, okay. All right. Man of opinion has nothing to say. Now I know why no one's ever put a resort on Fairhaven before. Which is, uh, by the way, someone mentioned you need an egg. Seems like a weird thing to need right now, but hey, I'm just some guy from the city, not a witch. I was just some girl from the city until I became a witch. Trust me, it's not too late. Uh, I'm fine staying normal. Um, uh, no offense. Interesting. All right, so, um, yeah, I guess we go to Amira. It'd be interesting. You know how Francis, like, became a witch? I mean, if you had the choice to become a witch, would you? Uh, you want what? Sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking straight. It's been kind of the weirdest day of my life. Yeah, I agree. Did you say you need some paper? Uh, here. Amira, let's talk. Ah, uh, that's right. You still need fennel seed powder. Here. I knew there was a good reason to keep a stash in the clinic. You never know when you'll have to perform an emergency banishment procedure. Now, wait a sec. We're supposed to craft Vanessa's in Francis's shop. Okay, Francis's shop. Got it. The writing desk. I think I actually have most of the ingredients, if not all. So I'm going to see if I can make this uh, incan incantation now. So let's go into the Francis's shop, into the writing desk. Yeah. What am I missing? Black ink. Okay, so I'm missing black ink. Who would have black ink? Probably somebody down here, right? Let's see. We have Kim. Oh, Bruno would have black ink. Yeah, squid. Well, brine me and stick me in a barrel. I beg your pardon? I knew she was strange, but a witch? Are you talking about me or Vanessa? Vanessa, of course. You're Hazel's granddaughter, sir. Ah, oh, geez. Hazel was a witch, too. <laughs> not she? Yup. Well, she and you had never been anything but sweet to me. I heard you might need some squid. There you go. Is it for a spell? Uh, it, yes. Yes, it is. Huh. Not gonna lie to him. Maybe there's a new market that Bruno's bait and tackle can serve. There you go. Three squid. Now we can make ink. I think actually I probably could have already made ink. Now thinking about it, huh? <laughs> I probably could have already. Right? I probably, let's see. Yeah, I could have. Absolutely, I could have. I'm an idiot. Par apologize for that one. Let's do it. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's do it. That's a smart Bruno. That is absolutely a smart Bruno. Capitalizing on his local economy that is forever changing. Anyway, it's cool. Everyone knows now and everyone's like, you know, yeah, you know what? I'm still going to live here. You know, even though the, this right here is happening. Yeah, I'm, we're not panicking. <laughs> There's one more part to all of this, Tara. Great. Something I didn't want to mention in front of the others because, well, I don't know if I believe this myself. You're making me nervous. To contain Vanessa's wraith, we need something particularly powerful. 
Do you know the story about the base of the Molly and Peggy doll statue? Yes, we've been over this. This is our third time now. There's supposedly something hidden in there, right? Yes, a locket. But you're not sure if it's true? There are plenty of legends about Molly and Peggy. Most of them aren't true. But we need all the help we can get, so I figure before you make the banishment incantation, can you check the statue? Sure. Will I need anything special? A lockpick incantation wouldn't be a bad idea. And if you don't have the ingredients for one, ask around. A locket. Okay, so doll sister's locket. Retrieve the doll sister's locket from their statue with a lockpick incantation. Let's see. I might already have, uh, like, the egg. We got the egg, so we're good on the egg. That's all we need, but we should be just fine. So let's go all the way back to Francis. I hope we're not going to destroy this statue. And instead, just, like, open, like, a little compartment or something. I don't know. Giva, I feel so bad for Giva. She has no idea. I feel like she she feels, if anybody feels like the most out, it's definitely Giva. She's like way, way out. Like way out. Black ink and a little bit of magic. Gotcha. A little bit of magic. Oof. And lockpick. All right, let's do it. Let's get it. All right, here we go. Time to see if this legend is the real deal. There was a secret. Two could keep it. But now I cast this charm to seek it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, cheddar biscuits. Cheddar biscuits. There is something in here. I knew it. I can't believe it. I was only doing this to put Luna's mind at ease. I didn't think the locket was real. So... Uh, <laughs> Marty just walks around carrying eggs in his pocket. You're damn right. <laughs> You're damn right about that. <laughs> Here, let me just pull this egg out of my pants. All right, Lena, we got it. We got the locket. Real. Oh my. I didn't think I'd really be able to lay eyes on this. Our chances of beating that wraith seem pretty good, Lena. I'd like to think so, but remember, it kept Gloria stuck in the gloaming for years. Do you have everything we need for the banishment? Hey, Auntie Meow, how you doing? Do you have everything we need for the banishment? Yes, let's try this. I'm stealing cheddar Ready? biscuits. You see, you never had the power to defeat me, and now you have no power at all. The wellspring is mine. Submit. Never get away from my house, and I'm replacing all the flowers you ripped out. You hear me? Wow. Wait, it's acting like a, a mood ring. No, like the Coven Cauldron. Ah. This fountain possibly built on top of a font to the wellspring, of course. And Vanessa must have figured it out. And that's why she manipulated Otto into running for mayor. <laughs> he was a useful fool, but we don't need him anymore. Oh, well, that's just mean. We need more offerings. Okay, okay, okay. Wellspring, wellspring contribution. Speak to the villagers to see if they can contribute, uh, contribute, sorry, an offspring or off. It's not offspring. <laughs> Let me just ask the villagers if they can contribute an offspring. Sorry, an offering. My bad. Do you have anything I can offer the wellspring? I wish I could help you, but what you've got in those woods aren't my gods. <sighs> Here, but only because we're friends, Tara. <laughs> yeah. Do you have something I can offer the wellspring? Sure, why not? First witch trials, now throwing random things into a fountain. Just be real with me. Is this all some elaborate prank? Am I on a reality show right now? Shut the hell up, Marty. Doing okay, thanks to sides from the cat harassing me for biscuits. That's normal for cats. Oh, baby. Gotta get those biscuits. Hi, do you have an offering we can throw into the fountain? <laughs> You're very free with your gifts, but... You should be careful what you offer the spirit of an island. 
Sometimes back home, we would offer this to Pele. <laughs> Give me your babies into the fountain of not youth, but fountain of F. That's what it is. <laughs> got another egg? Yeah, you got another egg, Marty? <laughs> Oh, you got millions? Okay. So I won't sugarcoat it. What Vanessa has inside her is overwhelming. I felt it. We have to free her, whatever it takes. <laughs> it's so funny. Cameron, I know you'll think it's just superstition, but we need offerings for the wellspring. <laughs> I don't know what I believe anymore. Take this. It's my medal for reaching summit level on the mountain of consciousness. I feel like they're gonna let Vanessa join the coven after all this and everything will be gravy. Parker, I hope you know that I'm still your friend, even if I'm a witch. Tara, I'm still working through the fact that I falsely accused Giva while under some dark influence I don't understand. And now it's got Vanessa. Take this. He's been the most proactive yet. Uh, two, two more people, two more villagers. I doubt Otto. Never mind. Wait, weren't you like at the mansion? What the heck? You run all the way back here? Otto, we still need help getting your wife down. We need to make offerings to the wellspring. Whatever it takes. Here. She gave this to me on our first anniversary. When she was my real Vanessa. Not that raven in the cloak and mask. She's still in there somewhere, right? Dude, she has never been been there in the first place so i wonder we don't know what they're offering right but i am curious to see if the game will then show us a cutscene of all the different things that they offer because we don't know what these people are offering sophia i you've always been a good friend to me tara but vanessa wasn't possessed when she took my daughter and we'll still need to deal with her later in the meantime here she has a great point fantastic point all right so we got all of it Let's go see what happens with the offerings to the fountain. And let's see if the game does show us all different eight offerings, hopefully. I don't know. Oh, has it been at the top of the screen? I didn't even see that then. Tara, read the incantation. Right! Too long in this place, you have been a bane. Now in this locket, be forever chained. That's all you've got. It's still not enough. Don't give up. Whoa, hey, all right, beast form coming in. Um, who are those people? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Get the locket now. Capture it, Tara. That thing took my mom from me. We can't let it hurt anyone else. Um. I will do it. I I kind of want Violet to do it, but I will do it. Because I don't want anything to happen to Violet. I'm ready. Right? In case something went bad. Oh, shoot, dude. Vanessa, darling, are you all right? Are you there? Schnooker, you were really a witch this whole time? You've been lying to me? I thought Welcome he knew. The club. I thought he knew. Messenger Cameron, what do we do? They're all malcontents. I have no idea. We can't banish all of them, can we? Just one. Once that fairy is fixed, Vanessa is never setting foot on this island ever again. I won't have her near my child or any of the island's other children. Agreed. Oh, Sophia, I'm so sorry. I was never going to hurt Juliet. I just needed to borrow her ability. I don't want to hear it. And it's her you need to apologize to. I'm sorry, Juliet. I betrayed your trust. 
But so did they. They've been lying to all of you for years. Just so they could hoard the power of the Wellspring for themselves. Liar. We've protected it. And protected the whole island. At a cost you don't understand. Really? Enlighten me. Gloria? It can't be. Mommy? Oh, Bastian! Who is she? And who's the, the, the fairy and the guy with the backwards feet? <laughs> None of this was in my farmer's manual. What on earth is going on? We've lived here longer than you, mortal. But now our task is done. You won't see us again. What the frick? They just disappeared. Everyone saw that, right? Everyone just settled down. We're still the same people we've always been. Still your friends and neighbors. And right now, another storm's coming. But what do we do about you malcontents? I mean, witches. I don't know. Throw us a pizza party for, like, saving you? We would never have been in danger if you hadn't lied to us this whole time, Lena. Lena's no more dangerous today than she was yesterday. And Shelby is right. You best get home before it really starts to come down. Come Good for you, Thomas. Town hall, Mr. and Mrs. Soft. You can't take me into custody. I'm the mayor. Not anymore. There you go. We need to return to the wheel. This town can't make it through many more blizzards. By the way, I have a wedding coming up. Anybody cared to know? <laughs> you have brought the incantation with you, yes? I have. What was the object you needed to bring? Um, Lena, this day has already taken a dark enough turn, don't you think? The blade symbolizes the fire of the reborn sun. Read the incantation, novice. We turn the circle, together as one, and welcome the birth of a new spring sun. Farewell, embers of the waning year. Tonight, a new year dawns. Blessed be the light that unites us all. We say goodbye to the cold sun of winter. And welcome the warmth of spring. Spring is here. <laughs> I am exhausted. I want to stay and celebrate, but I think I just want to go home and rest. You've certainly earned it. Do you think this will actually change anything? Now that the town knows our secret. I don't know. I hope so. Lock it up. There you go. Spring again. Absolutely. Task complete. You've been rewarded with increased magic spell. Oh, very good. There we go. We're gonna increase that a little bit. Does it keep going? It does. So that was a hell of a day. Uh, I would like to talk to Gloria. Witchcraft can make any task easier. It can make the lives of those around you easier. You must keep working at it. But don't ignore the rest of your life. It is a balance. See what they have to say? Sorry, I couldn't help with the milk and honey for your friends. Ah, no worries. I'm sure they won't take it as an insult and cause mischief to the town. Violet is crazy good at potions. If I weren't already afraid to ever get on her bad side, I am now. This is so cool. This is so cool. There's an Iranian festival a week before the new year where we burn rue and frankincense. I wonder if it started as a way to appease local wellsprings. <laughs> Just as we're doing with the pine cones. It took me ages to get this far in the coven. But don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. All right. Very well. It's 11 p.m. I'm going to pass out <laughs> after all this. Oh, my God. But we'll run back home very quickly. We'll turn to the next day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is insane. So the next thing we have to do is just get married in two more days. Right? That's all we have to do. Wow. That is awesome. I wonder what's going to happen now to Otto and, and, and Vanessa. Like, tomorrow will we be going into a... Hello. Uh, will tomorrow we be going into... 
like a trial for them now or how does that all work we still need to fix the ferry and everything i feel like there's a cutscene about to happen i do i feel like there's something about to happen There's still unanswered questions here, for sure. Still wearing the same clothes, though. Hiya, Tara. How you doing? Oh, you've had it real rough. <sighs> Yesterday, I wondered if it was possible to die from being too tired. Ah, well, I hate to ask this then, but... The fairy is finally out of the ice. If you bring me a ruby, I'll use astral spectroscopy to tune its vibrational frequencies. Uh, my brain can't handle those words right now. <laughs> oh, yep, sorry. Okay, it's, uh, it's like this. Embed my customized ruby in the fairy hull, and it'll send out tendrils of magic to repel the water. No human engineer needed. Nope, I'll work on it. <laughs> Oh god. So all you gotta well, there we go. Ruby, all you gotta do is get him a Ruby. Get her a Ruby. And um that's pretty much it for there. That wow, okay, so wedding is actually tomorrow, so holy crap about that. Uh let's see. Let's go to Zephyr. I don't know if Zephyr's gonna be open this early anyways. Zephyr is. Hello, Zephyr. Let's give you that ruby so we can get the fairy out of the water. Did you get that ruby? Will I did. this one work? Oh, the structure's perfect. Give me a day to tune the frequencies. I'll bring it by tomorrow. Wait for Zephyr to fix the fairy machinery. Yeah, okay, so you gotta fix it tomorrow on my wedding day. That's very, like, you know, inappropriate there, Zephyr. You're not invited. You're not invited to the wedding. <laughs> Looks like the chickens need some feed. I'm gonna get them going on. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to see if I can get my thing thing here. Yes, yes, Feedy. Uh, Feedy, I need you to go out and do some more stuff. Hey. There you go. Go take care of business, right? Go take care of business indeed. Uh, but with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn in for the rest of the day since, again, there's very at a, we're at a very standstill point here. Um, and I am going to bring us back in the next episode. Oh, there's going to be one more stream, I think. I think we have one more stream left in Wildflowers, and I think that's what we have. So it's been a crazy ride. A lot of questions were answered in today's stream, but there's still a few more questions that need to be answered in the next stream. It's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Hope you guys enjoyed some Wildflowers. For sure, I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you did too. If you liked what you saw in today's uh, stream or you enjoyed yourself today, please make sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Now, tomorrow, we're going to be continuing with some more Coral Island in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we will be uh, diving back into some more Dinkum. So look out for that. So Dinkum tomorrow and Coral Island as well tomorrow. It's been an honor being with you here today, and thank you for spending your time with me. I will talk to you real soon in the next one. And do as always. Take care. <laughs>